Hello and welcome to the stream. This is the Just a Few Friends chatting about E3 show. It's a, it's a great title. Just 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 bear it's with just bear with us. It's, <laughs> and we are, and we are here for Summer Game Fest. In just a yes. few minutes, we're going to be watching whatever Jeff Keeley or Key Three, as some people are calling it, uh, decides ah. to be able to kind of bestow upon us. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not alone. Uh, joining me is some of my very good friends. We worked together on a show, and uh, we decided, you know what, we want to talk about E3, and here is what here is us talking about E3. We manifested that shit. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> so with me, things happen. Exactly. So with me, why don't we introduce yourself from you know clock? Well, counterclockwise. Let's go with Camille. Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> oh me? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, all right. So I'm Camille. I am an esports and gaming host and producer, and I'm a friend that's chatting about E3. <laughs> awesome, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also a friend here chatting about E3, not E3, Keely 3, I don't know. Keely 3, yeah. Writer, you probably might have seen my work on uh, iPhone in Canada, Mobile Syrup, Console Creatures Squad. We've, you know, we used to host a show together, really yeah. exciting stuff. And Steve, thank you for, for putting this whole thing together. It's a, yeah. it's a blast so Shout far. Thanks. Steve. Yeah, this is great. I love it. And then uh, we have him in audio because he's currently streaming uh, for my he's chat. In the void. He's currently streaming on his own channel uh caboose why don't you introduce yourself i don't know what you're talking about that pic that's not a picture of me that's that's me oh I'm you're just permanently really frozen really like good. that yeah <laughs> oh no, you're ventriloquist now <laughs> yeah exactly you know you know what i mean but yeah I'm, I'm actually live on my own channel as well right now um and i'm a content creator i cover superhero games we were together uh minus camille for the playstation state of play yeah. last week mm -hmm. and now we're all together here for summer game fest and i cannot wait Yes. I can't wait yes. either. And also, Caboose, I was talking to the Steves about this, but okay. because you have this picture that like you're so enthusiastic in the picture. I know. If Kojima comes out and announces anything oh, related to no. Death Stranding, take my picture down. No, it's gonna just be like, yeah, take Caboose is so into this. He loves it. No, you're no. probably gonna have to be able to just switch your camera on, jump in here, show a frowny <laughs> face, and then jump out. You exactly. Know? Like, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, I yeah. will. I will. Yeah. No, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send. A uh, Steve oh Saylor, I'm gonna send you just a picture of me like pissed off. And okay, I'm and I'll replace that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I, can easily, I can easily swap that in. Just send me a photo. We're good. If I see anything Death Stranding, you make sure to just plaster that. Right? No love. No Dang it. love. If, 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 if I, I should have I should have thought about it beforehand, and I should have created like an alert that basically is just like Caboose is disappointed. Uh, <laughs> or just like a series of reactions. Oh, like, yes. Oh, here's, here's Caboose happy. Here's him surprised. Here's him. Oh, dang it. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been ah. next time. Okay, no well, next time. I was to say we could do that for the Xbox thing, but we're actually we're going to be at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase yes. Fan Fest Live in Toronto. All four of us are going to be in the same room, I think actually for the very first time. I think yeah, we, this will be the first time we're all in the same yes. room together. This is going to be oh, well, great. I I'm I've met definitely, Camille on a couple of occasions. Yeah, we've yeah. we've we've seen each other a few times. Yeah. I think yeah. all of us probably have seen each other in different iterations, but in the same we've, room. We probably yeah. never really had the same room, but just never knew it. Like, exactly. Like, Could be a fan expo or something like that. We've all, yeah. all been like the same convention hall at the same time. We just had no idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will be bringing though a caboose cutout with that picture. <laughs> Oh my god. We should just print off the Caboose's photo and just have yeah. it up and ready. Unbelievable, <laughs> Camille. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, I'm super excited that also because Summer Game Fest, yes, it's starting, but then let's just talk a little bit about E3 is confirmed to come back 2023. Yeah. Oh, we're going. Yeah, we're, we're going. I hope we're It'll all four of us are going. Be just a couple of friends chatting about actual E3. Sure, yes. Next E3. Like actual E3. E3. Actual, yeah. yeah, I'll add that is in the, as like, you know, like the little triangle that kind of like right in between yeah, the words. Exactly. It says actual E3. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the new graphic for next year for sure. But yeah, uh, the, it has been confirmed it will be a digital and in person event. So that's the digital and in person. That's a new thing for, for E3. Um, let's hopefully they can, like, you know, it could work out and it pays off. I mean, they can't even get the the fan experience and the media experience right so i don't hold your breath don't hold your breath don't hold your breath 
Um, but yeah, so like, but speaking of which, like, okay, so we've got like Jeff Keighley has been a big staple of E3. He's still going to do his Summer Game Fest. He even confirmed that he's going to be doing it uh, potentially in person next year. Uh, yeah. So like on the heels of that announcement of being at E3. So, but spe like speaking of Summer Game Fest, that's what we're here to do. What are we all expecting from today's Summer Game Fest? We already kind of know a few of the announcements and potentially actually even one leaked announcement yeah. that was about two hours ago. I we won't know, say it because, yeah, you, you know, if we don't want to spoil it, because, you know, if you don't watch social media, I don't know if yeah. you, you do, but, sure. you know. Um, so what are we all thinking? What are we all expecting from uh, Key 3 uh, this year? Uh, <laughs> Caboose, why don't, we, why don't we start with you? Because you're, you you're, the reason why you're streaming on your channel yeah. is because there's a few announcements that you wanted to have for your channel and because right. it deals with specifically stuff that you're interested in yeah so i mean my chat's been talking about it all all day while i've been live here but um yeah like gotham knights obviously we're getting a brand new reveal so i'm really excited about that uh we're getting something new for midnight suns which i think based on what they've been tweeting is a new character reveal oh so i'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with that and then uh outside of those two i mean i would love to see considering uh, I don't want to spoil it. Actually, well, considering some of the things we've heard about, like I would love to see if they're gonna show a release date for God of War. Mm -hmm. um, like maybe PlayStation in general will have a presence during Summer Game Fest. I think that yeah. would be uh, that would be pretty dope. Maybe. Um, they did confirm like, that, didn't they? In, in like the, th the list of thirty partners, that so. it was like PlayStation yeah. was part of it somehow. I think so, so the only other thing, and, and it's like a wild card. I highly doubt it'll happen, but I would be very excited to see it. Is if they show something. For Marvel Spider-Man 2, but considering the PC <sighs> announcements, yeah, I don't think we're gonna that, see that. I, yeah, I think they're gonna let that ride. And then right. maybe if they do a September showcase, we'll see Spider-Man 2 then. This year, I would say probably would be a good, like, it would be fine if, if they just like, you know what, we're not going to talk about Spider-Man 2 or Wolverine yeah, yeah, this yeah. year because they kind of did yeah. that last year. And so I, I think that this year they can kind of give a break. But next year, yes, 100%, I would probably expect it. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. it has to happen. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Steve, what about you? What are you looking forward to seeing now that the things have been announced? And what are you hoping to be able to see? Yeah, I mean, without diving into what was what was leaked, that was going to be one of my predictions anyway. So, thanks, uh, thanks, internet. Uh, but no, I don't know what you're talking side, about. <laughs> out of sight and out of mind. I've got my uh, face make my clown makeup ready for inevitably getting uh, disappointed when they don't show off Silk Song again. But I'm going to continue, you know, championing that. Hopefully, we see Team Cherry come out with some new Hollow Knight Silk Song. Uh, announcements who knows i, I mean stayed, they've been holding I, on I that for a bit nintendo direct every game awards <laughs> i'm like just give me something silk song if they do a shadow drop i will be over the moon excited but i i really doubt it at this point uh other than that i know that uh, jeff keely has also talked about cuphead delicious yes. last course mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very excited cuphead. about that love cuphead to death can't wait to see miss chalice up you know up there in the, in the spotlight now that uh, the DLC is just around the corner, actually, at the end of this month. You know what's funny about that about After that DLC um, yeah. is that I was at the Game Awards when when that announcement was made, and they had that that uh, sort of uh, quartet of uh, right. Seamers uh, singing the the theme song to the Delicious Last Course. It took yep. me three days for me to actually be able to realize that Delicious Last Course stood for DLC. I, <laughs> I did not know. Whoa! Yeah. Oh man. What? You guys Wait, you didn't know this? That's that. what the DLC. That's what yeah. Delicious Last Course. It's just for DLC. Yeah. Cuphead. Oh. DLC. Oh, you just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, right? Sorry, I thought you all knew. Guys, guys, come on. No. Come on, guys. <laughs> that went way over my head. That's uh, just really good. Because you're hearing it, you're hearing it as a song, I'm like "Delicious Last Course." That's kind of a cool name yeah. for uh, for for like a for like I even I think I even said that's a cool name for DLC, and I didn't even clue in that that was what the initials were for. Guys, I'll ask you guys a question too, because a lot of people are speculating about it here on my end. Do you mm. guys think we'll see? A reveal potentially for the next nether realm game i think no no because the no. mortal kombat 30th anniversary is later this year so i feel yeah. like maybe either for october or the game awards yeah, yeah i fun. definitely no definitely no okay. because especially with the street fighter reveal never the realm does not want anything mm. close to the street fighter time right. timing sure they're trying to go uh far out away from that so i think it will happen for the anniversary not uh for this time around yeah, yeah. I feel like that's your horses, they, fans. you reserve for like your own special 
uh, showcase or something like that later this year. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> to Camille's point, I think it's like kind of counterintuitive to have a, a showcase where it's like, well, here's Street Fighter and then here's another fighting game. I think, you know, yeah. Yeah. you just want to separate those two. But you know what? It, we're saying that, but then isn't also surprising that the rumor of what we may see from PlayStation would also be in Game Fest or like a potential release date for god of war if that actually happens like i feel like that is too big of news to have in another person's showcase another entity short showcase oh, i could okay. i could see them potentially being like okay here's a teaser god of war state of play coming soon like i could see them doing uh, that for okay. summer yeah, game yeah, fest yeah, yeah. and then like, like potentially that. july being the state of play for god of war and we may or may not see if they do talk about god of war i don't think we're going to see a, a release date if they if we do that'll that kind of shows Jeff's sort of stance in the video game industry if he's able to pull a release date from Sony's like like cold hands to be able to get an actual release date for one of their biggest releases on like on the, that would from be insane. like that yeah. would be insane and Jeff basically would just prove 100% yeah no he's like he's the guy that could be able to pull it off yeah. Cause yeah, I feel like that's way t that it, if he whoa if he does that I'm really worried for E3 next year because yeah. They pretty much burned all relationships at that point. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, Sony doesn't even care about E3 anymore. They're, they're just That's totally true. backed out for how many years at this point? Like, true. If, if yeah. anything, they're going to either do their own thing or they're going to partner with Jeff. I mean, it, Fans to be win honest, I don't think that it's that big of a deal if if God of War came out with a release date during this this showcase because okay. the developers have been online on Twitter being like, no, nah, it's 2022. I mean, I'll be, mostly interested, I'll be mostly interested next year if Summer Game Fest happens to see it actually go toe to toe with Yeah, that yeah. would be huge. Where, like which announcements are gonna go for which exclusive? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. if, that's yeah. gonna be like, it. You know, with your divorced parents, you're like, who do you wanna celebrate Christmas with? You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know yeah, what? You know what? Sunday we, night, geez. it's at the Microsoft Theater and then yep. Monday, I'm at the LA Convention Center, and it, then I'll Tuesday I'll be wherever the uh, summer game. Fest but here's the thing: right. it's it Steve. Uh, where does it happen in LA again? It's the LA Convention it's Center. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's outside, it's right? LA Expo, and then literally next door is the Microsoft Theater. So that's how they've been doing it yeah. for both. But I think it's Steve's thing. It's like it's gonna be like Christmas. Like it's Christmas for gamers. We're gonna get two Christmases next year if that's the case. <laughs> so yeah. with the go with the divorce analogy. So we're literally about like three minutes away. So qu very quickly, oh, yeah. Camille, because you haven't uh, talked about what what you were excited for what are you oh. looking forward to seeing um uh, like through summer game fest today definitely cuphead uh i want to see more cuphead i love that game and i loved the show and i just want to i'm looking for a new adventure in the dlc delicious last course i'm learning something new <laughs> um and then as well i i'm kind of curious elden ring um oh. you know like if we get a little bit of a tease before the the big showcase uh that's what i'm like i i'm curious on that and then of course the rumors and god of war yeah uh, i want to see what if there will be something god of war i i would have a few i'm the exact same with you i would love to be able to see if they if they do something with god of war i mean with or with the like the leaked thing the the rumors um but i would also i would imagine there could be a tease for kojima his, it's been rumored oh, with well, his next prom a project. He's yep. best buds with with Jeff. I can yeah. see him maybe doing something. And if it's the rumored potential Xbox project that he's been yeah. that he's been working on, I can see them being like a two sort of two punch. Being like, if you want to know more about Kojima's project, check out the Xbox Bethesda showcase on Sunday. Because I can totally right. see him working with Microsoft on that on, the, on that teaser yeah. to kind of get people excited for it. So we're gonna Aaron be. Aaron looks so happy about that. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. He like Aaron looks. So so Wait, awesome like aaron i didn't re take you as a kojima fan i just like you know to figure out how to turn on my webcam right now. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right Steve, no, I, i'm right there with you i i really do think that there's a distinct possibility of that happening yeah there because keely has done that before where it's like here's the preview or i think even like ubisoft and other other third parties have done that where it's like okay here here's a quick preview go to the the main stage which would be you know in this case the microsoft bethesda showcase to see the full reveal and i mean it does seem very likely that kojima is working on this thing yeah so, on the uh, list of uh companies working with summer game fest was konami there uh you know i don't think so 
No okay, pachinkos. Well, no pachinkos no. at Summer Game Fest. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. No <laughs> uh, anyway, but we are literally seconds away from Summer Game Fest, so we're going to be watching that right now. This is going to be our reaction, apparently, to two-hour-long shows. So strap in, uh, get like get your get your uh, gamer fuel or G fuel or just some sort of like liquid hydrated. hydration to stay hydrated because we're yep. gonna, we're gonna strapping for a long haul. And a, and a bottle to urinate in. Let's go. Uh, I, you know, I was gonna do with the whole like you know catheter sort of thing, but you know. <laughs> it went all out. I was rapid, just like a... rapid fire. What's opening the show? Yeah. Oh, rapid fire. Ooh. Ooh. PlayStation. PlayStation. Last of Us. I would say last, yeah. like Last of Us. If there's gonna be anything. It's already leaked. I think so. They're yeah. gonna put it out. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Right. Yeah, I think, I think so too. Content that some viewers find offensive. Like what? <laughs> Shut the stream down. I, I can't do it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My, my like I need my virgin earmuffs. <laughs> there he is. And here we go. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. We are live here in Los Angeles. So whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome. Oh, that's right. They were doing these in IMAX. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you Did you see what uh, people are getting for attending? They're getting little cuphead pens. I'm like, what? Man. Oh, man. I hope we get a cuphead pen. Right? Now, what I That'd be cool. Jeff, send me a cuphead pen. Yeah, come on, Jeff. Showcase. Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Jeff. You're Canadian. You're, it's cuphead's Canadian. Canadian, like, come on, give us Canadian some love. Platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games. The biggest franchises in the All right, I want to see the shoe fit. Come on, show me the shoes. I know we should have saw it earlier, but I didn't catch it. He always has a good shoe fit. You know what? I'm going to say 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10? Oh, okay. Yeah. Not appropriate for all the grass. We're going to get through. Is that why there's grass? Is it to touch grass? <laughs> oh Not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. So let's yeah, he did started. temper a lot of expectations going into this. Oh, Street Fighter. Oh. I guess this makes sense. This makes sense. Since, sure. This legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Wait, we got gameplay for Street Fighter already, though. Yeah. yeah, we got a big one. I, and that's the thing. Apparently, there's going to be a Capcom uh, digital event sometime soon as well. It's a blow for this game. Are we seeing like too it. much <laughs> too soon? I think so, maybe. Like, they're... Like, they're Doing this as if like the game's about to come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guile. Yeah. Okay. You will know what hit you. I still have an issue we with their face fun. models. Let's get this mission started. Although the, he looks pretty cool. Okay, I think yeah, you guys are definitely a little bit ahead of me. <laughs> I'm like a I'm like a second ahead of you. Not, okay. Uh, not too bad. Caboose, I think, has the. Yeah, I think you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll fun. try to mute where I can so I don't. Uh, no, okay. no worries, no worries, no worries. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, chat. We were trying to be able to sync up so we could all kind of be synced up together, but it just like it. OBS was just like, nope, nope, not wanting to do it. <laughs> I love the special like art style that they're doing for these like special attacks. Oh, it's it looks great. So good. Like it looks like it could, it's like pulling off a comic book page. Mm -hmm. Guy looks really good though. Yeah. Just looks dope, honestly. Like, yeah. oh my style. god, he has a it's butterfly comb. Because <laughs> some of the face models, I've just been like, mm, like Chun Li. I was like, mm. but Guy looks good. Yeah, uh, I'm happy with Guy. Yeah. Coming 2023. Okay, yeah, we 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 knew that. I think that was. Oh, here we go. Yeah, World premiere. Was, yeah. It's all about the comb. All right. <laughs> Next, it's time for a brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Check. Oh, we will. Oh, we oh, yes, we, yes, out. yes, Jeff. Where's the world premiere? Oh, wait. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM left from Constable. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the commsat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. 
What is this? I have no idea. It's based off like, a 20th Century Fox, so it's a based off a film franchise. Right. I almost Alien? Like, I'm thinking aliens, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking so, because it's like, oh, well, they've done Predator, they've done, you know. Well, oh, Alien yeah. Isolation yeah. was truly, oh, oh my God, no, it is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, I, I, oh, here's the thing. Is. Alien Fireteam Elite was actually really good. If you have not not played that, you grab a couple friends and go in and play it, because it is a ton of fun. No, it's gonna, totally alien. It's to totally be, right? Yeah, alien. that's gotta be alien, yeah. Actually, a friend of mine wrote a, wrote uh, an official novel for the Aliens franchise. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. Oh no, who who's that? This wasn't human. That doesn't look. Oh, what? Is an alien? What? Yeah, there's. there's oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. So many of them. Is this gonna be like a co-op kind of? Like this looks right? this looks just yeah. like Fireteam Elite. Like it pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Or like Predator Hunting Grounds. Yeah. Right. right. But better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I saw in there. Yeah, you know what? I could imagine that maybe a Predator Hunting Grounds, but like, with a better story. <laughs> Or a story. Or a story, yeah. Or a story. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. Aliens. It looks so good. And someone needs Wait. To Why is he surrounded by so <sighs> many aliens? What? I dig dark it. Descent. Just aliens, dark descent. Okay. I hope it's multiplayer. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. it's it looks, looks like, like it. it's RTS. Yeah. yeah. They had me right up until the last. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they bamboozled us, guys. Oh. That was Aliens Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023 Damn. to console and PC. I mean, Damn. RTS. Two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto. I'm so excited for Callisto. Sam. I don't know. It's it looks scary. too scary for me. <laughs> first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. Hey, let's go. First, here's the quote unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little active in my chat they boozled our bam yeah that's what yeah, they did yeah. <laughs> they absolutely did this looks so good it looks I great mean, but i'm like i don't know if i want to play this because like scary games just uh, you mean just gonna, don't mix but i'm gonna love it you know yeah yeah, yeah. but i mean like I, it, as i say that i am excited for dead space remake so this may yeah. be sort of it's the like appetizer the that punch. i need yeah the one two yeah, punch yeah, yeah. It's got like Returnal vibes almost. Yeah, I'm like trying to look away because I don't want the pop-up, but... See, when I see the snow, I think of Dead Space 3 and that just wasn't it, Chief. <laughs> yeah. Entirely. <laughs> Isn't Josh Dumel in this game? I think so. I think I saw that, yeah, that he was doing motion capture or something. Mm -hmm. Aside from how scary yeah. it looks, like this game just looks visually like... Oh Good. Yeah. I just love like that. This oh this. Someone in my chat said the game has Mortal Kombat levels of violence. Apparently, according to Game Informer. Ooh. That's what I heard. I heard it goes pretty wild. Damn. But I feel like I would want. That's what you need for a yeah. space horror. Yeah. Like, we're hacking and slashing. I just love it. That last part. Oh, yo. like it, it just looks like a very wet and gross game, and yeah. I'm kind of down for it. Sounds, playing that with your headset on and the sound yeah. you're gonna hear. Oh, the, that just wishy sounds. God. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This looks so good. Oh my God. It looks good, but I'm like, I don't. Oh man. This is a game if you're scared that you play with friends, like. Yeah. Yeah. This will be this will be a game that I that I'll probably stream just to be able to have at least some people to be able to know if I get a heart attack so they yeah. can call nine one one. Yeah, it definitely looks violent. Yeah. To your new yeah. Home. 
That's this is for sure gonna fill the dead space void for people. Absolutely, they, yes. they cannot delay this game. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was the thing. Is like last last time we were all, yeah. all talking, like, hey, could this game be delayed because it's coming up pretty soon? Yeah. I don't know. There's... After seeing this gameplay, I'm like, it, it looks, looks pretty close. Being pushed. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining me now, Glenn Schofield, striking distance. Glenn, uh, first of all. Congratulations! This game looks absolutely incredible. So yeah, I guess that like they're 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 putting down that it's definitely December second. But then again, Starfield was also putting down that it was going to be November, and look what oh, that got us. My heart's <laughs> broken over us. that. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and you know, for a second, just give me a second. You know, I want to thank you. Uh, for all Shout out, Jeff Keeley. Shout out the Key Three. Key Three. Years now, and uh, um, you've been an ambassador. Um, you've amplified new games, new studios, and uh, I, I just uh, wanted to thank uh, you. Oh, really you're going to make me cry. Uh, it's, about me, it's about you guys. Uh, I, I know, but. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And, yeah, it's so fun to do these shows. And to show this game, so people saw the trailer, but what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development, and people are going to be blown away, I think, when they see Ooh. it. But tell us a bit about what are we going to yeah, see. They're, yeah, this is not going to be delayed of, uh, at all. Like said, like, yeah, uh, it doesn't gameplay. seem like it. Um, it's two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, one is a med bay. Another one is a power station. And you're going to see uh, some new enemies, some brutality, some uh, just about everything. We, we're showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. It's a, okay. like a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies and it shoves them into giant fans. It rips them apart. It's great. Okay, and, good. Uh, so I can I can basically the telekinesis them across the room and basically blow them up. I'm okay with that. As long as it's not near me. Like as long as yeah, I'm not having a like like they're not touching and, uh, me. I don't care. <laughs> just for a second, I, I, I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Very much. No, no, no. Uh, well, Glenn, I gotta say again, uh, you know what you guys are shipping this year. This looks like a yeah. world class next gen game. Uh, it's it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year. And let's let the footage speak for itself. Glenn Schofield, Thanks. striking distance. Here it is, the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Okay. By the way, Camille's uh, no ice out of my chat wants to know, do you have a Twitch channel? Because they want to follow yes, you. Yes, it is. There we go. I dropped it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they got like straight up zombies or? It looks like. Like, like space zombies. Space, space zombies. zombies. <laughs> Huge difference. They're spombies. I try to make that space Spoms out. Spomby? Spombies? 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 Yeah. Make it trending, guys. Yeah. Hashtag sp zombies. Spombies? It's hard to say. It won't catch. It won't Zombs. Catch. I can't. Zombies. I don't know. Spombies. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> that was cool. That was kind of cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Ooh. We're gonna be blown up apart. Like, <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh. <laughs> scared. I bet yeah, I'm gonna upgrade looks... every single ah! gun. <laughs> oh damn. This is giving yeah, me like. This is giving me like when feet. I played Half Life for the first time. Like how scared yeah. I was of that. <laughs> yes, you punched that. <laughs> Yes, I will be it's doing a lot so of that. Boring. The thing what I like too, they have the lighting right. Like when you're yeah. firing, yeah. It, it kind of goes dark for a minute and then you see it's the enemy getting closer and closer, the spomzies. Spomzies, yep. Yep. Spomzies, yeah. <laughs> I just love the fact that they're like it's basically dead space. We got we got the, the health bar in the I back of the guys and that. Yeah. everything about it. Obviously the team developing it. Out of hand just I mean, yeah, like yeah. it's it's just Dead Space, but their version. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm here for it. Yeah. I, uh, so, of course, being the accessibility guy, like I'm already kind of watching this, and yeah. without really seeing the UI, I, it looks right. like a potentially there could be something here. Um, I'd be very curious to kind of see how much can be adjusted, what can be added. Sure. Um, hopefully, there's Ooh. something. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Man, that did not go 
<laughs> did not go according to plan. Wow. Camille, your scream literally peaked out of Discord. Like, that's how... <laughs> that was... Uh, this October, Call that was cool. Modern Warfare 2 arrived. Yo. So that's one word for it. To that's that's so yeah. good. It did look good. And today, we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. I'm so excited. All right. Oh. Full disclosure, I do work for Call of Duty. I did not knew anything on this, so yeah. don't ask. 2019, <laughs> modern warfare changed everything. And on October 28th, we usher in a new era of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Price. Gaz, Soap, Alejandro, and of course, there he is. <sighs> Ghost, baby. Yes. New Call of Duty in a whole new way. Inspired by the world we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just Shipment. The Bring back Here shipment. Is modern warfare <laughs> terminal. I want to see terminal. Terminal. Well, high rise is back. Yep. So. Terminal's a good one, too. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So many good maps. Yeah. All right, so this is a full level playthrough, or at least a level playthrough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things, like, although, you know, a lot of COD fans don't play the story, <laughs> but they do it really well. And the story's shorter. Like, the experience that you get is really well done. Yeah. Then again, though, I feel like the story was amazing. There's clearly like a home for story, like the story campaign in the Call of Duty games. Sure. They didn't include it in Black Ops 4. Like, people wanted it. People wanted happy. it, yeah. yeah. They were like, the multiplayer just wasn't enough. Well, yeah, especially for that price tag. True. Yeah. I mean, but then again, also at the time, they didn't have Warzone, so there wasn't like an yeah. additional thing That's they'd be true. like kind of build off yeah. of. But I mean, like, obviously, the, 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 um, the fact that it's going to be all in the same engine now as Warzone is yeah. really, really interesting. Yeah, this is oh, making. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. No, I'm just gonna say. Only thing I'm slightly disappointed about crossplay again. Like we, we got we got to nip this in the bud at some point. And I really hope that this was gonna be the year for Call of Duty to be like, listen, we're we're fully. Aren't they in not on... crossplay? No, they are, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like we, we I kind of hope that this was just gonna be like a current gen only game. Oh, oh, cr oh, you mean cross console? Okay, okay. Sorry, you know cross con cross generation. Yeah, gotcha, sorry. gotcha. Okay, okay. Uh, the, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, because of how COD fans operate, they're yeah. not necessarily the audience that will buy next gen because sometimes this is the only of like three games they own for their Fair console. Enough. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. True. I'm still bummed. I am. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am liking the 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 stealth aspect of it of of oh, COD yeah. right now because. Going in guns blazing, I do terrible at. So if you if you give me a mission, you give me a ton of missions where I can do stealth, I'm very happy. Yeah. That one stealth mission in the uh, Modern Warfare remake where you're going in through the houses, some of the best level <laughs> no design. And I oh suck at stealth regardless of what game it's in. So <laughs> the less stealth, the better for me. <laughs> James Berg in my chat says campaign is a good way for folks to learn to play the game, learn the new stuff, yeah. etc. Too, which is true. exactly true. true. And that's also great for accessibility as well. It's like it allows mm -hmm. us to be able to try out the game. And be able to play it at our own pace. Yeah. Right. And, and also, like for next gen, like if well, PS5, if you're playing on that and you want to use the adaptive controllers, campaign is like the best experience. Like Modern Warfare mm -hmm. yeah. is really good to play in campaign. By the way, so funny enough, the Xbox adaptive controller doesn't work on PlayStation. It works on really? Nintendo Switch, but does not work on PlayStation. Really? Yep, there like there and there's not even a mod or a hardware thing to be able to install to be able to get it to work. It's literally something in the software that prevents it from actually working. No kidding. Oh dang. Yep. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I just need that double sprint in my life. That's it. <laughs> the modern warfare, you know? You see Kaboos just like sprinting through the whole level. Yes. Forget, oh, forget shooting. Oh, exactly. <laughs> no stealth for me. Yeah.
I'm also just curious as well, like, Warzone 2. Mm -hmm. Like, when are we going to hear about that? Because I feel like you have to kind of launch Warzone 2 with the success or like alongside Modern Warfare. They did say that it's coming out later this year. I, yeah. I figure they'll do the, like a similar thing that they did with Vanguard where it's like, here's the base game. We'll give you a month and then we'll launch a uh, new Warzone. I can't was, I, I can't comment on that on any of that at all. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I just feel like that's the, the that's the best way to be like, okay, let's give a let's give people a chance to get in multiplayer here, level up their guns, get themselves war zone ready. Yeah. yeah, I'll I'll say like I'm with you on that one the, because only just because I literally actually do not know what their what, what the current release plans are. <laughs> I think it w if it launched alongside even a little bit before, I think it would be beneficial because OG Warzone is what, um, and like the gun mechanics and how they were balanced is yeah. what fans love. So I feel yeah. like if they were to introduce that back alongside uh, Modern Warfare, it would actually entice people to buy Modern Warfare. Like from, a, yeah. from yeah, a, yep. you know. That could be a good selling point, yeah. Standpoint. I would love that. Honestly, actually, like outside of me as a consultant for a COD, I would actually honestly love that. I think that's a great idea, like having Warzone 2 out first and then Modern Warfare, and then that yeah. kind of gives people the, the chance to be able to see what the game is going to be like and right. and be excited to be able to play it. Like, I mean, heck, it worked for Halo. Like, yeah. Yeah. might as well. And it worked for, for the first time with uh, Modern, with uh, Warzone, right? Uh, they were like... Oh, true, they did that with... Uh, just, was it just announced Warzone was out, and then you could play it. Yeah. Warzone came out after, long yeah. after. You know, it was after, but I mean, like, in terms of, like, not building up the release, just, like, launching it. Oh, I it. see. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a good point. Because they already have the users on it, right? Like, you don't oh, really yeah. need to build it up. Oh, shipment. This looks really cool. Shipment. This is giving is me this, shipment No, is this, this is, uh, this is Wetwork, isn't it? From Call of Duty 4? If you remember. It kind of does look like, like that. Yeah. 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 With the shipment containers, absolutely. They'll have shipment, though. I mean, like, yeah. every Call of Duty game has shipment. They, they had it in the uh, reveal trailer. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I see what you mean. It does give me a lot yeah. of, like, wet works and shipment vibes. Yeah. I love that this mission, even though how frantic it is, like you could still go slow at your own pace. Right. Yeah. So this, that you're not going guns blazing. Really cool, man. Like this mission looks. looks it looks dope. Sweet. It looks dope. Very creative to have like the ship going through like, like a storm. Yeah. And tilting. Like I thought that was dope. And the yeah. water just looks amazing. Yeah. Like, on yeah. The, By the way, so I want going across the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll say like uh, I want to call out something that's pretty cool. So if you notice that anytime that there's any damage, uh, that there is like a little bit of a kind of a red uh, sort of reticle uh, around uh, that kind of that tells you where the direction that, that uh, damage is coming from. That is actually an accessibility feature um, nice. that allows uh, deaf and hard of hearing players to be able to know if they're getting shot at from off camera. <laughs> sure. I love that. Oh, and here we go with the full, actual full trailer. Yep. Also, like their their um, the night vision goggle levels. Oh Looks my god, good. so yeah. good! Now get early access to the open beta. Cool. I'm That's down. really good. Yep. That's what we're talking about. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna. Great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you with us, and also Jeff from uh, Infinity Ward. So. We saw the first gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. Looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back uh, Captain John Price. Yes. And, uh, Price is uh, the best. Uh, <laughs> Garrick. It really is. Um, you By know, the way, did anybody watch Warfare like those six. those like uh, those but, like uh, Modern Warfare Two trailers that yeah. they were putting out with different celebrities in them? Yeah, yep. I think my favorite is Tim the Tap Man. It's like scope, scope, no right. scope. <laughs> yeah. Ghost Riley and uh, of course. You in a uh, Steve Aoki? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's with the cake. Like Steve yeah. Frosty. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, 
Commander Philip Graves. I'm loving Joanna's outfit right now. Not gonna lie, that's kind of a fit outfit. <laughs> I love, I love the coordination with the logo. Yeah. I'm really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as the level's concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out to, to IW. You know, this was tr a tremendous collaboration across all of the, the different uh, disciplines, as you saw. Everybody yeah, go really, team! Really, uh, <laughs> motivated devs here. And, uh, you know, you saw the, the wind and the uh, animations and the awesome sound design. And, of course, our new water tech, which is yeah, actually the water. pushing the boat in different yeah. directions. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind cover, and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed. That's really cool. It also leaves the enemy exposed, creating this emergency. I was going to try to change my, um, my, so my light colors to green, but I couldn't get to work. <laughs> 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 and that's just a hint of where things are going to go. Uh, Johanna, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall, Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, you know, we're so excited that it's back this year, but you've got lots going on across Call of Duty. What can we expect from you guys this year? Yeah, we, um, first of all, thanks for having us here. We're just so excited for October 28th. Yeah, they didn't so have me with the last Call of Duty game two. that came out. Like, that, that was pretty they didn't abysmal. Have they didn't have anyone. They didn't have anyone. I didn't other. really like it, <laughs> but <laughs> Modern Warfare 2. Sign me up. You're gonna see yeah, it. right. I'm in. Rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself, built all on one shared engine now, across Warzone and. Uh, I heard Warzone. I'm like, of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about. Sorry, Warzone. Warzone experience. Yeah, Warzone. 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 Oh. Um, there will be. Orange um, whip. Orange whip. A standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're gonna sort of feed the entire community there, but all eyes on the 28th. Um, hmm. And again, I think the collaborations. Oh, so they're well. still very, so very quiet about Warzone too. Yeah. Um, uh, Warzone coming she did confirm because well, some players on the go people were concerned team, that Warzone two would be exclusively next gen. Um, oh, I said from mm. the beginning, we, no, we, that's we not going to happen. And no. she said that there will be. I know we just, you know, we're oh. showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There was a little bit. It seems like there was a little bit of a tease, maybe in the trailer yesterday. Oh, yeah. When we're seeing that from the community, we love when the fans can pick up some things. Um, some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements. Oh, yeah. But we will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Yeah. So all the more reason why we think this game, this moment, is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead. And like we said, we're having a bold vision around the entire future for the franchise. So we're in we're in position. We're really excited. All right, well, we're so you know what? October. Thanks mm -hmm. so she said it's a, it is an extension of, of Modern Warfare, Warfare, so like maybe it will um, be right, out. We've got lots after. more summer games. I could see it after, yeah. yeah. I'd put my money on it. Yeah. yeah. Is coming back with a Steve, sequel you may be right on that. After its first release. I love this game when I was growing up, so I'm honored to what share. What do we got this here? Year. Oh, this is probably Monkey Island. Or maybe not. Definitely not Monkey Island. No. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? As they say, it's an iconic franchise. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Mech Warrior? feels so out of the loop right now. Same here. I'm like, yeah. like yeah. before <laughs> our gen what's flashback? Flashback? What? what the heck is flashback? <laughs> Iconic franchise? That's sure, okay. <laughs> I mean, Jeff is a weird taste. Turn back time. Back in 2017, we okay. had Witchfire at the Game Awards. Almost okay. five years later, I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter oh, early yeah, access soon. Oh, we're literally, so okay. Uh, we're just under the next thing. <laughs> that was quick. That was fast. That's what he said. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> Young Whippersnafter is active. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what game this is when I Google it. Um, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Maybe it was before our time. Passive Potentially, game. uh... This game, whatever this is, looks amazing. Oh, this looks like oh something... wait! 
Isn't this, um, oh, I think I saw a trailer for this. It was like, it's in the West, but it's like vampires. It's like Evil yes. West. Oh, if the, oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. This looks okay. amazing. This, this, would, this would be cool if it was like Van Helsing or something like that. Like this. It kind of has that, like when I saw yeah. the actual trailer for it, it had that vibe, like evil, like if this is Evil West, I was like, I'm, I was already on board with the trailer, but this definitely right here. Heck See, yes. I, I, I saw so many people popping off for Evil West, but I could have sworn that game was something way different than this. So I was like, ah, I'm not going to pay too close attention. I love what I'm seeing here. <laughs> I am definitely people loving this. Yeah. This looks so good. People are chatting like it's Medieval Doom. And medieval like, honestly, Doom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just even down to how fast you can switch weapons. Yeah. The ability is like, it's. Yeah, this is this looks exactly like Doom. James Berg in my yeah, chat looks like this looks like heaven. Yeah, <laughs> in hell. Um, Sign no, me up for this game. But the problem that I have with games like this sometimes, yeah, it's Witchfire. Which, which, oh, it is just Witchfire. He already said okay. the title yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so then, no, the problem I have with games like this sometimes it seems very slow paced. But mm -hmm. this looks like really well paced. Like it doesn't feel yeah. sluggish. It seems really smooth and fast. Yeah. I'm actually okay, excited. It's gonna be coming to Epic Game Store. So cool. Starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game. Oh, hex it not heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread the X. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blind moment. <laughs> heaven. Heaven and hell. Hexen. Oh, that's Troy Baker. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it said the same thing. I'm pretty sure. I can't believe what I saw. Blade Runner. Cyberpunk 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, Cyberpunk it. Everything okay in there? Callisto Protocol. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Uh oh. What was that? I don't. This looks like I it's on it's Mars. People, not actual zombies. Something is going on here. That looks pretty interesting. That looks yeah. cool. Oh my okay. God. Fort Solis. Okay. Wait, right. what were the names they had? Troy Baker, uh, was it Julie Brown? Troy Baker and, look who it and is. Arthur Morgan. And oh, yeah, no Clark. way. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Fun, the fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Good to be here. I got to ask you guys, uh, who are your characters? Hi, Troy. Well, uh, <laughs> I play a character named Wyatt Taylor, the medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. And uh, it's the epicenter of this mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go through the game. And of course, my character will be at times in opposition with Roger's character. We I feel like every see. segment they got people who are like, oh my God, Jeff Keighley, we love you too. By the way, Jeff, there we go. Yeah. There he goes, there goes Arthur Morgan. I want to hear these, yeah, I definitely want to hear these two in a game. Like I, I'm all down. First major ones for a while. I play a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. I'm on board. I, I, yeah, I think I'm kind of like, I want to play this. It they looks good. need to reveal the game. All they had to said, say for me is Troy Baker and Roger Clark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Uh, I gotta ask, I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder, you know, it's a new team, right? Uh, you know, independent studio in Europe that's making this, but with huge production values. I'm curious. Yeah, I've never heard of the studio I'm before. No. Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first, I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic and that forced the way that we look at everything as a society, but also the way this industry functions. But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios or the triple I studios. And so just like anybody else, we got reached out, uh, James Tinsdale with this brand new studio said, we'd like for you to uh, consider being a part of this game. And he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was gonna be like. And at the very beginning, he said, it's, we want this to feel, it's a, it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets uh, Duncan Jones Moon. And I was like, sign me up. 
Whoa. Into that. Absolutely. Okay. Full like performance capture and everything. Ah, yeah. Absolutely. New studio, brand new energy, and of course, I get to work with one of the best in the business. Too. And me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy and watch him in action. Uh, I know I love to work and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to Yeah, I guess I've seen some of the behind the scenes and the performance capture on Real Engine 5. I mean, this is it looks absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the the gameplay? Like what are we going to do in this game? Yeah, the verbs are always important. So, we're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on, but uh, this is a game where you as the player, you're going to be exploring, you're going to be discovering. Like we said, it's a very tight thriller. So, you're moving very fast-paced through this world. There'll be multiple locations, multiple ways for you to traverse, which we're excited to show you about. Uh, and then the the narrative is a huge element to this. The, they they didn't waste uh, any any <laughs> resources on the the performance for sure. I got to tell one quick story, yeah. if I can. Um, it was one of our favorite moments. Um, there is a lot of action in this game, and that was at the the, the forefront of this. And to speak to the performance capture aspect, we brought in an incredible, I gotta give him a shout out, uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt coordinator, who walked us through and really approached this in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, I want to know the story of this fight. And so Roger and I sat down, we said, these are where our characters are. And he goes, give me shout one Shout out, hour Nathaniel. Come back to yeah. You with Way to go, Nathaniel. Fight. Way to go. And after an hour, he comes to us and he goes, it was like a, like a recovery program. It was 12 steps. And he walked us through this incredible fight and I was I, about halfway out uh, halfway through it, I started tuning him out and I was like hey man I just want to let you know I've got no ego about this but I can do a lot of things but I, I can't do this and he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says oh you can you will and it's going to be glorious oh that's cool that's a nice story yeah. that's a great that's story I'm hyped uh, yeah I, I mean this is so cool to see is it an independent studio doing this teaming up with you guys we can't wait to see more Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Summer Thank Fest. you. All right. Appreciate it very much. Not going to lie. Right. The thought, uh, I, I don't know why it just popped in my head, but Court of Owls just popped in my head, and I was like, oh, I'm excited to be able to see some more Gotham Knights. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reminder. Nick Gordon. This one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. World premiere. That was pretty good. Thanks. Been working on it. <laughs> Wait, that was you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was brilliant. Ooh, Starfield? Thanks. No, you wouldn't show Starfield stuff here. No. No. Cause he said it's from Mick Gordon. I don't I don't think uh, Mick Gordon and Todd Howard would it would <laughs> I think it would I don't know. Okay, what is with so okay? Many spooky vibes. So many space and space spooky, spooky vibes. Spooky vibes, yeah. <laughs> That's the theme of this of this summer game fest. It's literally just spooky space. Ghost escalators. No, no. No, no, yeah. I like sort of the, the VHS tape quality to this yes, game, though. Right? True. Yeah. The old like monitors oh, and everything. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Okay, that light freaked me out. <laughs> Oh no, what the heck is in there? That thing behind here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> well that's robot. That's a that's a bad robot. Bad robot. Routine. Cool. I mean it looks good. Sure. It looks good. Wait! Did it say it was based? It looks like it was an Xbox only p a game. Yeah, it looked like it. That was routine coming to Xbox. Xbox PC. Game Pass. First announced a decade ago. Yeah. And PC. Wait, that was announced a decade ago? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Checking with a very special guest who's been. Where was I a decade ago? I don't remember that being. <laughs> I don't remember it being announced either. Dwayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Game Fest. How are you? What's up, everybody? Of course he's doing it from his gym. Of yeah. course yeah. he's doing it from his gym. That's such a rock thing it to do. Totally honestly. Is. <laughs> of course. And everybody inside. I'm also not looking forward to Black Adam. Theater. I'm putting Wayne it out there. I can, I am you. interested, but it's more of like I'm more interested to see what a rock superhero like show like movie would look like. Not good. <laughs> it looks like The Rock just doing so his thing. The, of course, he's got to do a plug for Zoe Energy, too. Oh, God. You guys know me uh, by a lot of nicknames. The Rock, La Roca in Spanish. Is Zoe his thing? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, That's his uh, sort of um, sugar-free energy drinks. Oh, cool. Okay. Joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. Uh, Never tried it. Is that any good? You guys also know no, you I try to get some into the, uh, but they don't ship into Canada. Electrifying uh. surprise in gaming that happened. You know me as the foundation. And I gotta tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy response of me becoming the foundation. But also, I gotta say that you know I've had folk music. Folk <laughs> music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, He's listening to West Virginia. This is literally just a The Rock ad. It kind of is. <laughs> The Rock was like, hey, Jeff, can we put a Zoa ad in here? I would say, like, did, did Jeff just yeah, book The Rock on Cameo? Like, is that what he did? <laughs> oh, my God. No, yeah, he just did a Cameo shout out. Oh, and you know what? You could plug your Zoa, too. Why not? Yeah, sure. Are we going to get a Black Adam thing? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I'm good without that. Definitely. Okay, so he's literally promoting Black Adam right now. <laughs> uh, October 21st. I cannot wait for you guys to see Black Adam. He's Around like straight up teasing only, that they're going to do a Black Adam versus Superman thing. He's been saying that he's for just years. Said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, though. This but he's like a Shazam villain. Like, it just... <laughs> yeah, that's... He's uh, fought Superman, though. Like, he's, he's, he's true, he's true. Yeah. But it's like... Oh. October 20. First. That's my so problem with the Black Adam uh, movie. They have him as this anti-hero. He's stay no, he's a villain. He's a villain, yeah. Keep having fun. Keep kicking ass. Uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. They're just gonna premiere the Black Adam trailer. Gaming stuff or like movie stuff being at Summer Game Fest, sure. but a little bit more organic. Just show the trailer. We're all excited for Black Adam, and have exactly. Rock there talking about it. Like I don't need. Gym. I don't need him in the gym. Yeah. I don't need him promoting his other stuff. Yeah. Oh, Outriders. Okay. Here's like, another I don't think anybody watching Summer Game Fest at this point is like, I'm going to buy myself some Zoa Energy. Yeah. This. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, okay. Yeah. Again, if that was a paid ad from WB, sure. Awesome. Go for it, Jeff. But don't sell it as like The Rock as a special appearance at the yeah. Summer Game Fest when there's nothing gaming related. Love you, Jeff, but... but gamers love Black Adam. <laughs> yeah. Gamers love geek culture, and geek culture includes subpar superhero <laughs> slash villain movies. Yeah. I will say Black Adam looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Was pretty dope. No, no, nah. it looks so bad, Caboose. Whoa, okay. You're wrong on that one. You're wrong on that one. Somebody who Usually I'm pretty training. forgiving. I have a, that Black Adam trailer did nothing for me. Damn. It was it didn't blow me away as, as other trailers have in the past for stuff, but I it was more of it intrigues me. It looks it looks good from what like okay, I just but it's more of I'm super intrigued of how the rock can be able to be a superhero. Yeah. Outriders though. Hell Outriders, yeah, sure. I really like that game. It did actually add some accessibility after the fact, which kind of helped, but not enough to bring me back in. Ooh. Oh, there's a I broadcast. I love when we hear okay. saying, ooh, we know something's coming up. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, I got to mute more. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I no, no, no. This is great. It works. It works great. Oh, we got some. Oh, okay. We get uh, 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 the first Nintendo announcement ever of the <laughs> Nintendo just, was like, we're just going to give you a sizzle reel of things we already announced yeah. and then uh, not give you that, anything else. No. That, was the, that, was, that was our Cuphead footage, I guess. We're just going to give you an ad for the Nintendo Switch <laughs> that you can play after the Black Adam ad. Sure. Yeah. This looks like basically an ad block right now. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, so is it's sad that okay. Outriders had to be a, like, had to be a part of an ad block. <laughs> It could have kicked off the ad block too. Like, it looks right, so weirdly yeah. placed. But you know what? Like, although we're kind of ragging on it, you need money into these productions. That's true. Yeah, exactly. Happen, so I completely understand why Jeff is doing this. And I actually enjoy this Fall Guys commercial. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen Fall Guys commercial before. And we have Valkyrie in there, uh, yeah. Courage JD. I'm just gonna say it's very haunting that they're interacting with like real life. I, I'm not behind this whole thing. It's very scary for me. This is scarier than Callisto Protocol. I've seen this Fall Guys, <laughs> like the beans, the Fall Guys beans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah. 
I don't like it. But I do agree with you, Camille, that, yeah, the, the ad stuff has to be in there at some point. I just kind of wish that Jeff Keighley could find a way to kind of, like, transition properly. Yeah, like saying, hey, like, by the way. Oh, this is a rock ad. And then yep. it's, like, five minutes of just continuous ads. Yeah. I want to actually jump back into Fall Guys. That was so fun yeah. to see Courage and Ray in that Fall Guys piece. And you can play and download Fall Guys for free. Starting June 21st across all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. All right, back to another new game announcement. We're going to announce a brand new game and universe Kojima? from a new team oh, of no. legendary oh, darn. developers. Check this out. World premiere. Thanks. So good, so good. Frost Giant, okay. What was it that they were supposed to be, they were working on? There was a f like it was something that I was like uh, I keep hearing I keep, uh, basically I kept hearing about Frost Giant Studios like with a, like a lot over the past few weeks and I can't remember why. Signals breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. That voice actor sounds familiar. Okay, hurry. What is up? I love that there's this resurgence of space. Yes, yeah. I am all on board for that. <laughs> I love me some space. I love me some NASA. Give it to me. I've been rewatching Expanse, so it's like this is oh, very in the fields of space right now. I love Expanse. Great show. Command, I may be onto something. <laughs> Mika in my chat earlier is here are some rock solid ads for you. <laughs> That was like a great that. way to describe it. I like that. <laughs> I have it, Command. Repeat, I have it. Mission accomplished. Of course, it's gotta be something creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always something creepy. You gotta have space, you gotta have spooks. Those are, yep. the, those are the two things for, for the showcase. Yeah. Yep. And spawnies. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I was like, did the shield just summon something? <laughs> <laughs> Titanfall 3. No, I'm kidding. Imagine. Imagine this was like a <laughs> <so laughs> Titanfall skin off. Kablooey. Glad you could make it. We gotta move. Now. There's a storm coming. There's seriously a lot of Hell space games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stormgate. Okay. There's space and demonic creatures. Nope. Stormgate's bringing it up. All right. Well, 2023 beta. Yeah, that's a very generic name. Very Just gonna throw it out there. Yeah. Same. Oh, so you don't get a sense of gameplay at all. No. no, not at all. There you have it, Tim. Congratulations. Stormgate is real. We have a name and some details. Uh, this is like one of those kind of game, like nothing against the team working on this. I'm sure they're like they're they're putting a lot of work into that. In this, this is one of those games that looks like you would see something on a Steam sale that you have no idea what it's about because just it just looks generic. The infernal host on future Earth. It also looks like, oh, again, I don't want to diss up and people who are making the game or anything, but it looks like it's you know, one of those games that has like a really cool CGI trailer, trailer races, but it's like a uh, mobile game. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah like we're unveiling like, yeah, our like first two game. factions today, like, but there will be more. Uh, so the human resistance. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did they say it was an RTS? The human they did, yeah. Then, oh, it's an RTS. Oh, okay. It's like one of those games. Beautiful cinematic, beautiful concept, and then, you know. No knock against anyone that loves RTS. It's just, just not yeah, my jam. Just not my, yeah, yeah. they bamboozled you know, all, all the FPS adventures fans. Yeah. Decades, but, you know, right off the hop, you know, <laughs> it's like, let's, let's pull a bait and switch on <laughs> everyone watching. As I said earlier in my chat, they, bam <laughs> they boozled our bam. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Still haven't recovered. Nope. 
Absolutely. I, but the first thing I want to say is we are very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about RTS. Um, where we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative, first off, approachability. Um, for one thing, we're free to play. Uh, I keep getting these notifications about a UPS package that I'm getting right now, and it's basically yeah. saying it's no, it's been notifying me every like hour that it's something it's coming, but I'm like, it's there's no change to it whatsoever. UPS, get your get your get your act together. It's coming. Yeah, exactly. Of course, we've also still got one v one competitive. And as a little surprise, I think we've got some first kind of. Work in progress images uh, from the oh, game. Oh, images! Right? Oh, yeah, no, these are still coming out very much still being worked on. Some shots no. of uh, actual. Well, the beta is next year, according to that yeah. trailer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I, it's I, a I long love it. Twenty twenty three. You said they, for the betas, like people can sign up now, artwork. get ready, and I'm just so thrilled that there is a a brand new. RTS franchise coming from you guys and your background. I mean, I'm all for like a, like an RTS game. Like it, 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 we need a few, like some good ones because we haven't had them in a long time. Um, and kind of like it, everything, everyone's sort of afraid of sort of against it, sort of like with League and StarCraft and all that. But I'm like, I want a good RTS. High water. Check this one out. Water. World premiere. Good morning, high so water good. dwellers, high water Thanks. pirate radio. Kicking You're in killing it, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Alphaville authorities. Jeff needs to hire you for that. Yeah. 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 That'd be nice. One thing we can't deny is that the world ended on a sunny day. So now we're getting chill vibes, and I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, sort of like palate cleanser. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm thinking about the time here. So we're an, almost an hour in. This is two hours long. It's two hours, yeah. That's a long time. It's a Blind long time. bard. I, re I resemble that remark. <laughs> I feel like we need to up the ante soon. I think so, too. Yeah. You know, after Witchfire, kind of a... I mean, Witchfire has been the only one that, like... Like, Witchfire has been the only one that I've kind of, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that one for sure. And yeah, Callisto, but yeah, nothing really else. Well, no, I should say COD. Give me a sure. Nights. I need my Gotham Knights. I know, I know. I think I'm like, that's the one I'm. Imagine if we go two hours. By the way, no Gotham Knights. <laughs> not getting it. This is for Kaboom. Don't you dare. Definitely not getting it. Jeff just says that. Specifically for Caboose. We're World premiere. What a breathtaking trailer. High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict around in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mika, my chat, the notification is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus. Oh, replaced. I forgot about that game. A new trailer here today, what is this about? But we're understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you. I think it was was that oh it was it was it premiered I think at an Xbox showcase. Okay. Um, and it was just like kind of like one of those like it was like one it was one like it was like a one person team kind of thing or something like that. I don't know. It was. Okay. Life is being televised with the viewing population constantly voting you up that's, or down. That was kind of sweet. When you become that he, like, unpopular, said, you know, we need thinking, to start running for your you. life. Yeah. Check this you know, out. Not being able to finish the game. World premiere. Raw Fury. Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with mm -hmm. fun and entertainment. My For a second, I thought that that was me, and I'm like, wait, I did not do this voiceover. <laughs> that dream is now a reality. Is that the CN Tower? I was gonna say, it kind of does look like it, doesn't it? The city is Toronto. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. We really need a Toronto video game. Broadcast we do, other than the Overwatch map. Overwatch <laughs> map yeah. But like a full one, like yeah. Watch Dogs Toronto, please? Or... Yeah, come on. Watch Dogs in Toronto. On on oh, yeah. Interrupt broadcast immediately. So, Truman Show the game? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I like this a lot. It's quirky. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Oh, I think I've seen Trevor. this trailer. 
Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Or screenshots of this or something. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. It looks actually really cute. I it does, know. yeah. All right, Steam. Cool. I'm going to play it on my Steam Deck. Let's go. Apparently, we've made it to the beach. Next up is... <laughs> Chef, you're surprised. You're the one... Vibes. <laughs> There's trouble in paradise, and watch out. You don't want to get bitten. After many years like of rumor, the, the we finally get an update though, on this much anticipated really well. show. Yeah. World premiere. I'll keep doing it every time. <laughs> Thanks. It definitely fills in the... Um... Yeah, like what happened to the world? Yeah, absence. Yeah, exactly. What happened to that guy? I don't know. I hope he's okay. I hope so too. Oh, is this uh, Dead Island? No way. If that is, I'm, I'd freak out. It looks a little it different, does. but it reminds me. It of does. Dead Island. Of them like running down the. The rug's gonna be pulled out from under us. This can't be this happy all the time. I actually can't believe what's happening right now. Wait, a I goat? Think like a parody on. <laughs> 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 oh stop. my god, it's goats attacking. <laughs> what is Samuel's going on? What the is hell is this? Is <laughs> this is the most I've been bamboozled, I think, in the history of video game reveals. This is better than the Dead Island trailer, I'm just saying, like... <laughs> it's kind of brilliant. It is pretty brilliant. Wait. Aww. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Goat Simulator 3! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make a joke that is like what goat simulator but like <laughs> action battle RPG but <laughs> it's like full no on goat, goat simulator 2 epic game score <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay all right Caboose here you go A tactical RPG from Paraxis Games the studio behind XCOM and Civilizations Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. Today, we've got a look at some new folks set to join the battle. World premiere. Oh, oh heck yes. Oh. <laughs> heck yes. It's about time. Oh, oh snap. Really cool. Really cool. Caboose is probably free is freaking out right now. Oh <laughs> Surrender your pain to me. And I will make you whole once more. Oh no. Venom is gonna come to the dark side. Spider-Man, damn! I'm gonna need some backup. Oh, no, oh that's Yuri! Him. That's Yuri Lowenthal! This is awesome! Yep. Yeah. The so that's does this mean way. that it's like the Marvel Spider-Man universe from Insomniac is now connected with Midnight Suns? Are we doing an MCU kind of thing? <laughs> or MGU? <laughs> this oh, is so that's cool. so sick. Oh, dope. I love the music. Oh my God. Yeah. Soundtrack is gonna be killer. Oh shit! Oh wow! Look, Venom! Oh damn! Venom! Holy! Oh, the Hulk too! Oh, that looks so. Oh snap! October seventh. Love it. And a Doctor Strange skin. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Counting on you again, old friend. That looks awesome. That's so cool. Color me hyped. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. 
Oh, damn. Okay, wow. Sons, and now we're moving on to the wonderful world of we're back Cuphead, in. the delicious last course. And can, can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away from playing the delicious last course DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Joining me now is Maya Baldwin, however, <laughs> So first of all, Maya, it's really coming? It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week. And you guys gave me a copy. Way to brag, Steam. Jeff. <laughs> People are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've amped up, obviously, the game. I need to figure out how to be able to install. There's an assist mode mod for Cuphead that I really enjoyed a couple years ago. Yeah, and I want to install it on my Steam Deck, but I have to figure out how to be able to hack it to get it to work. To the next level from animation, the hmm. backgrounds. I think you can, but design. Um, I don't know. Of course, I don't know Linux enough to be able to figure it out. <laughs> Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, yeah you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new uh, new character. Oh, okay, so it's yeah, not a separate game, it's basically yeah, just part of the, Okay, I mean, nah, that makes sense, it's yeah. DLC, so. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots Although of challenges I ahead. Well, I know you brought. Well, I, I know you want. You want people to necessarily oh, have too much yeah. spoiled about the game. We'll see it in another eight years. A little I guarantee. something. New Probably, yeah. A brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes place in an icy arena, um, and features some of my personal. I literally just looked at the clock, and I'm like, yeah, we still have an hour left. <laughs> Damn. We do have an hour left. Holy. Yeah. They showed quite a bit. World yeah. premiere. But I also feel like. <laughs> yeah. This though, so I'm I'm all for it. I know it takes forever for Cuphead because it's like hand drawn. Yeah. Uh, but hey, it's worth it. <laughs> Honestly, th like Cuphead is in a league of its own. Like, sure. It's animation, gameplay, everything. Like it's Music. the only game that like that ha like I don't know how they're able to get this artwork to like. Looks so much like the like a 1930s kind of cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the every, rubber hose animation, everything about it is just like even even unreal. the the sound, like the music, everything is so authentic to that. And, and I want more games like that. Four years for DLC to come. Out. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I gotta I gotta play this. I gotta play it. Now, if you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will show you an exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix. I'm Geek excited. Week, which will include. You know, technically, I actually have, I have yet to. Plug. I have yet to watch the Cuphead show. Is it good? It's actually, really good. Yeah. Uh, that's not all. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's just you know, I I feel like it was catered to uh, an audience that's not me. Yeah. Mm. But I can still appreciate it. I can appreciate it absolutely. Yeah. Mm. It's a fun. Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, with news on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, oh, Epic Game Showcase. Xbox and Bethesda Game Wait, Showcase. Wait, why is he talking? Is it the done? Of Xbox no. And Game Pass. No, I think now he's just talking about like the upcoming events. Yeah. 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 He's talking about like the Bethesda Showcase. Yeah. 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 Where you Talk play about an assassin it from in the middle of your show. Slays demons for the well, they're all. Jeff, Jeff does a whole I mean, lot of research. I mean, yeah. I mean, in the, yeah. Um, yeah, in the middle, premiere. not at the end, you know? Fair enough. It did kind of, for a second, I was like, are we wrapping up here, Jeff? What are we doing? What is, uh, what is this? This is Neon Sears, White, the, uh, to do God's they showed this a while ago. It's like a card game battle system. I don't know. It's, it was a weird one for me. Okay. I'm trying to s figure out what what's the use of the cards. Like it's basically it's just your, switching. It's your attacks, yeah. Uh, so, because normally card games usually the, the, when you when you play a card, it just does it for you. Is this the same thing, or is it literally just like the cards is kind of like how you switch between weapons in in an in FPS? Yeah. You nailed it. Okay, well, it comes out next week. So, all right. Is it? We've shown.
showing you lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Oh, I was like, a single Over the past year, father who's my best friend named Kojima. <laughs> Kojima, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who no. wrote everything, directed everything. No Kojima. <laughs> did the art of everything. World premiere. Unless it's for Silent Hills. True. It's got a Sifu vibe uh, art style. Music's hype. I like yeah. it. Together. This is like the art style of Sifu with the gameplay of Hotline Miami. Yes. yes. I love the creativity of like people who just want to make a game. And it's like, I'm still surprised by like how, how many games that are like, are, that look and play really good. And it's made by one person. Oh, sure. Like that is amazing to me. Me. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore, and neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole like damn city down. Have... For the co-writer of Destiny 2 and the stuntman of God of War? All right. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Midnight Fight Express in August. Oh no, is that the same date as, as, as Spider-Man PC? Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam. Oh! It will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one of them. Check it out. All Warframe, right. a game I haven't heard about in a long time. <laughs> to talk all things Warframe. <laughs> Active in my chat. I think Caboose, you would like this. He says, no Jima. <laughs> I was just saying to my chat, like, I'm surprised how long this game has lasted. Yeah, same. Twitch for more than 30 minutes. This show is going to get a special Twitch drop. Yeah, that's right. I already have seen people getting it, so it's very exciting. Oh, I should have been watching this on Twitch, not on YouTube. I'm an idiot. Take over oh. your special so events I. category, but so she's am I. for you. <laughs> are properly linked up. No, Warframe. You know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with. It's just that with YouTube, I, I can actually get captions, Pentacon not actual. <laughs> you can't do that with Twitch. Event of the <laughs> year, reveal what's next. What, what can you tell really us? Need to build that out. Well, proper. I can't tell too yeah. much. Yeah. Well, they have the capability in the player. It's just that no one ever uses it. Uh, like I, oh, I have the capability yeah. to do that now with my. Twitch channel because I have a plugin that uses Google uh, auto transcription or Google, basically using the Google Cloud to transcribe and it works, but you have to actually enable it. Big reveal of the night and we usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo, and I think a lot of people can suspect what it might be, but I'm here to kind of confirm what it is that Tunnel Live is going to show. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get I your I played first Warframe for approximately 15 minutes. <laughs> I've Final never played it. Years, <laughs> yeah. years, uh, but Devere Paradox is going to be what Tunnel Live is all about, and I'm but so Jeff, happy. But Jeff, I want uh, Gotham Knights. Where really <laughs> <laughs> Gotham Knights? Hey, you got an hour. You got an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like an hour, uh, another right hour now. to go through this. Like you really need some big world enough. premiere. I want another yeah. hour. I know. I want the My next child. hour to be just Gotham Knights. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah Midnight Gotham. Suns. Okay, so calm, cal 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 <laughs> calm yourself. <laughs> I just want it now. <laughs> yeah, Warner Brothers. You know, they, they say, okay, we gotta have at least forty-five minutes. You know, space yeah. between Marvel. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Drop us at the end there. That's true. That's true. Is Warframe worth playing? Like, that's a question. I'm like, I've, I feel like that this could be something I could potentially like, but. I feel like it's for a very particular, yeah. like it's very niche. Okay. Cause it was like, I, I it was, it, it was described as like, sorry, go ahead. It wasn't for me. No, I was just saying, I played it at launch. I was like, ah, it's just not really for me, but this game honestly seems like it's far and away different than what I played years and years Yeah, ago. wasn't this supposed that to be like a Monster Hunter kind of clone sort of game? Was that kind of, like, I don't know why I have that in my head. Maybe it turned into that, but the game I played... Is not know, that? Okay. So, yeah. mm. Weird. James Berg in my chat says, Warframe is really solid, but the controls are quite difficult. It's very grindy, but they've improved it a ton over the years. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, 
a lot of space today from Genshin Impact Studio, Hoyaverse, across mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals... Ooh, Genshin Impact the fans. The logo is kind of giving me FF vibes. I was going to say, it looks very much FF. World yeah. premiere. I'm going to start doing it in different voices. <laughs> <laughs> As much as I like, I appreciate that the genre exists, or at least the style of this, these games exist. I have almost zero interest in any sort of like Japanese inspired kind of like games. Nothing against you them at all. Both. I just yep. can't, I, I can't even get into anime. And I know a lot of people are set up here about like, about that. I just, for whatever reason, I just can't seem to get into it as much as, as everyone else is. You're not alone. I'm I'm very detached from it, and I've tried my best. I've tried my hardest, but nothing about it attracts me. Like I'm watching this. It looks pretty. No yeah, problem. sure. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are stoked for this game, but this does not interest me in, in the least. No. Star Rail? Is that, is that what it is? Yeah. I have wine to soothe the souls of honored guests. Welcome aboard the Cien Jola Fool. The who are here now who? <laughs> and that's not all from Hoyaverse. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast-paced action it's style. Yeah. Here is Does the Gotham Knights even exist at this point? No. <laughs> no. Is this a real <laughs> game? <laughs> no, it was a fever dream. And we all experienced it. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. World premiere. Oh, I know it's going to be mind. <laughs> Looks like a KDA music video is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> Active in my chat, it's Schrodinger's Nights. <laughs> it kind of exists, but you don't know. Yeah, you can't. Exactly. <laughs> this looks pretty interesting. Sure. It does, it does. At first I was like, oh, it's kind of remind me of Persona, but very much action. I'll give it that, it has a cool aesthetic. But am I gonna play this? Probably not. Zzz. That's what it's doing to me, putting me to sleep. <laughs> I saw, I saw what I thought was a bat, and I'm like, wait, Gotham Knights, Gotham Knights, what? <laughs> here we go. Now we're bringing the. Oh, I, I here we go. Like, I, like, I like, yeah, I like this being as the game. Well, if they're gonna, the if they're gonna give me some games for Gotham Knights, I'm okay with it being. This gotta be it. Yeah, exactly. TMNT. Let's go. Leo! Leo! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> We're all premiere! I got a chance to play this at PAX. Oh, we got Casey! Yes! I got to play this at PAX East. It plays very well. Like, it's it, if you played and loved the arcade games from back in the day, or even the regular, right, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, it has that yep. same kind of gameplay. Can't wait for this. What's cool is that it's like literally co-op can just drop at any time. If you're in the middle of a game, if you plug in or connect another controller, you just hit a button and immediately you drop into the game. There's no going out and having to be able to set up another second player or whichever. You just drop right in. That's amazing. Yeah. And what's cool too, which is like, this is something that my brother and I always kind of like had an issue with as a kid. 
if you ever had to pick up like health you know how it's like oh man i needed the health and someone's like ah eh, whatever you can actually share health if you wanted to if because it's basically pizza so that, that's how you get like your health packs and yeah. if you if you basically go to another player and high five them you'll share some of the health that you picked up six players yes we're totally oh, playing yeah. this June oh 16th. man, awesome. I can't. I I forgot it's coming up so soon. Yeah, yeah. I want the the limited run games edition where it comes like a VHS tape. Right. Oh, he is playing the Game Boy. Oh, that's cute. I love that. What the heck is this? For a second, I thought that was going to be perfect dark. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? I, I think I heard about this. It's like, a, it's called Super People. And then isn't it like, kind of like Lawbreakers or like Overwatch? Oh, really? Like oh. A super, oh, superhero kind of like competitive game, maybe. Hey, you know what? Battle Royale with super or superpowers? Yeah, I'd be I'd be down. I mean, this trailer looks dope. Mm -hmm. Super People Final Beta August. Okay. Not too in love with that name. No. Super people. Humankind. That was another game that I kind of. You need to. They, they gotta have some superhero suits. Yeah. People, you know. Agreed. Wait, I've seen this trailer. Have you? I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they just re edited the original trailer. Yeah. Yeah, because isn't that Sasha Banks? Yeah. Hmm. How far will you push humankind? Yeah, I have seen this trailer. Yeah. Anyone played it? Anyone played Humankind? Is it good? No. No? I've never played it. I have no idea. Uh. Game Pass, though. Hmm. Sega. Sega. Humankind allows you to shape your civilization by combining a multitude of historical civilizations from the ancient to the modern era. One Piece is celebrating its 25th Again, it's an anime that I know everyone loves, One Piece, but... <laughs> ...mega popular franchise back to video game... No idea. ...One Piece Odyssey. Monkey to Luffy and his crew of pirates are off on their next adventure. This trailer reveals the setting. A mysterious island. Like legit, the only thing I know about One Piece is that there's a TikToker named Straw Hat Goofy, and he's that's apparently the inspiration from one of the characters in this. That's all I know. Oh, I didn't know that. We're premiere. Yep. I like his content. I had no idea that was a, was a One Piece reference. Yeah. Actually, yeah, he's killing it right now. Like he was, oh, yeah. he's all over the place. He's had like the light, light year premiere. He was at the Jurassic Park, uh, the Jurassic World premiere the other day. Yeah, he does great stuff on TikTok. Yeah. I will admit, the art style of this looks dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, a 3D really nice. anime kind of feel. Like yeah. What's the gameplay? That's what I'm wondering. Exactly. That's always the question. JRPG, I wonder uh, how traditional it's going to be. Yeah. Apparently, also, I think Jamie Lee Curtis is a fan of, of One Piece. Yes. I think I she like, did a, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she did like a cosplay, right? Now, One Piece cosplay. Oh, that's cool. She w yes, yeah. For like Halloween or something like that. Did she also like do like. 
like a is it a Lee or a WoW cosplay for like her daughters? Uh, no, I think it was a one. Uh, I think it was a One Piece. Or no, yeah, no, you're maybe right. She has done like some gaming cosplay before for for, for with I her think kids. It was like a Starcraft thing, right? Oh, maybe it was Starcraft. Starcraft, yeah. yeah. I'm vaguely remembering that story. And hidden mysteries. Unravel the adventure that awaits. It's like in the Pokemon like engine. <laughs> One Piece Odyssey. I'll give it that. Like, it looks dope. Oh, coming out this year. It was a good trailer. I don't know about the gameplay. <laughs> yeah. This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas launches. See, okay, now we're 20 minutes or 40 minutes left, right? Right. Yeah. I feel oh. like yeah. some of these could have been something else. Yeah, True. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Active in my chat says I have like 28 volumes of the One Piece manga, and there's a zillion more. It's a lot. Oh, man. Wow. Yes. I heard there's over a thousand episodes. Oh, that's what yeah. the one that has a thousand Jesus? episodes? Oh, damn, yeah. yeah. So okay. My chat. Isn't it the longest running? Oh, is it really? I think so, yeah. That meant, now that makes sense. Yeah, I think I've heard something like that. They're doing a live action show for Netflix as well. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Netflix is going all in on like adapting anime, which. Yeah. yeah. I, think it's I, don't think it's too great with I was about to say. I mean, I I was sad what they. Yeah, I liked actually the raw live action of Cowboy Bebop. I think that, I thought that was really good. It wasn't bad, but you can't go in there expecting it to be exactly like Cowboy Bebop. No. Right. So, yeah. Totally not. Well, it's the same thing with Death Note as well. There's Death Note movie. Yeah. Wait a second. What game was that? <laughs> I completely Soul like. Okay. I completely like just lost interest. <laughs> The Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save up to seventy. He literally just said today's PC video was sponsored by Nerdwallet. Yeah. Did he? Did, yeah, did, 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 did he really? Oh, okay. You know what? Say those words, but it might as well have been. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. Before the sale ends on June sixteenth. Tune into the Epic Game Store Twitch channel. I mean, get that bag, Jeff Dealey, bud. Yeah. At 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. We're taking a look at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store. This year, and the Do a lap. Do a lap, Camille. You got time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what? Because it's in an ad break, everyone stretch. Everyone just stand up and stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the new Samsung TVs. Interesting that they're going to put Stadia on this as well as Xbox. <laughs> yeah. I am now suddenly in the need for a, for a Samsung TV. <laughs> yeah, really great timing for Microsoft just after I bought my new LG TV. No, awesome. really? Oh. I invested in a C1. I was like, fine, I'll do it. Oh, Should have waited. Thanks. I Should have waited. I'm gonna, I think I am. I think legitimately, because I, I mean, I have a setup here in my office, but I don't right. have anything in the living room. And, yeah. you know, I can always go much with a much bigger screen. So, <laughs> depending on how, how expensive the, uh, those TVs are, if they're, if they're the, like, in, they're launching what, June 30th, I think they said? Well, it's any 2022 uh, Samsung TV. So, anything right. that's on the market, like, from this year. Right. Just putting all these commercials in one, or should it be more like spread out? Jeez. Okay, so Mika in my chat, Mika in my chat is like talking about like a manga and, and One Piece and whatever. It says apparently Epo has 330 more chapters. 1051 is One Piece. 1385 is Epo. Damn. <laughs> So much fun. Strikers. Strikers, yeah. Strikers like, I feel Nintendo like these Switch. should be spread out. Yeah, I feel you. Mm -hmm. oh, World premiere. Oh, is Mark this the one that has the, the lead singer from System of the Down? You know how in some games where the music's really good, you feel compelled yeah. to move and shoot to the yeah. beats? But what if you had to? 
In metal, the better you are at slaying to the beat, I think at this point we can all guess what's going to be the last and thing they show tonight. Right? Could be. Like yeah, I have a feeling, Caboose. I, I yeah. think you're yeah. waiting a while. Yeah. We do recommend well, no, no, no. I don't think it's going to be Gotham Knights. You think it lasts? Uh, I think the rumored, yeah. I mean, we'll just say it. Like, compare the rumors to Last of Us Part 1. Yeah, one thing. Yeah, I think it's the one last thing. I, but I do like, think that Gotham Knights is going to be the last, like, big stretch. Sure. Because yeah. it's what? I they said it, that they're going to show gameplay? Yeah. Like, a new Robin reveal. Play? A new character reveal. So we saw... So it would be Robin. No, we saw Robin. No, no, no. Right? So, so it might be a villain reveal or something. Like, oh. Be like, they just said it'd be a new reveal of some sort. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But they showed... gameplay is the one... Oh, that's the one? Yes, I was about to say. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it makes sense. They would show gameplay for him. And confirming that's like it's that's Tim Drake Robin. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. only one left. <laughs> Third champion. Just on concept alone, I'm I'm down for this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks really fun. I yeah. feel bad for the streamers. I wonder if oh, oh right, okay, yeah, everyone talk over this because I don't want to get yeah. copyright striked. Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't really talking all that much, so I'm, if I'm getting one, I guess nope, I'm Nope, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Demo out now, okay. Current slash next gen right now. Level infinite. World premiere. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. This is too and right long. now, as Summer you mentioned, a demo has launched on yeah. Xbox and PlayStation. A lot of this PlayStation could have been an email. Yeah. It's Next up, <laughs> a new game launches tomorrow. The Quarry from Supermassive Games. I almost spit on my drink because yes. <laughs> stars David Arquette and an well, I just don't like. Cast. It's getting I don't know. Reviews. A lot of this stuff that's coming out like next week and stuff. Experiences. Do we really need to see more of it? This is, yeah. Um, who lives and who what is this? What, what was that game? This is the New death loop effect. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. Family is the most important thing in the world. Well, like this right here, like the quarry, it comes out tomorrow. Do we really need to family. spend some time no. on this? Like, True. Yeah, seriously. I mean, it's like the review is already out. If people are going to be sold on, on wanting to exactly. want to play this, then they would. Hanging on the end of a rope. Apparently it's good. According to the reviews. Yeah, I've heard really great things. Yeah. I'm just hyped for Sam Raimi's brother. To pull on that yeah. Rope. Yeah. down the bottom of the well where the rest of them No, no, you're not excited for David Arquette? That's the point of that. Oh, True. Oh, it's got a hell of a cast. Yeah, it does. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover up. Oh, is that just that's just a Smith in there, right? That's you have yes. no idea what's okay. going on here. Not a goddamn clue. I love like 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 it looks very much like the actors. Yeah, they don't hide it whatsoever. No, we don't see that a lot in in games. Like I know you can really like change everyone's faces to like to ma not match the, the person, but yeah. we like and like, I, like really until dawn was kind of like the, been the only ones that have been like able to show like and make the character look exactly like the actor. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, I know it's a touchy touchy one in this uh, this panel here, but that's stranding as well. Did a really oh, great true. Job yeah, I'll I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Stranding, yes, did an amazing job. I forgot about that. You're right. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. You're smiling, like so you seem to like it there. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an imposter. Now it's time to give you a break. Woo! I tell you, that is not my reaction right now to the lack of weather pattern, resources, and challenges in this procedural realm. Here is your exclusive new look. We are to premiere. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. The portals are a mess. Not even sure if Nightingale made it. Given how fragile you humans are. Oh, wait, I think. Didn't we see a teaser of this a while back? Yeah. I vaguely, I vaguely priority. remember the name. Yeah. If the portal arch is inactive, you'll need to make realm cards from rare resources. 
Once you have realm cards, you but Nightingale is a name that you could have applied it like that. Yeah. Uh, Foul things lurk in the interrealmic void, waiting to get in. This is so cool, but I think they lost me with the card mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. Axe pick. It's like they're trying to combine two, two things in one. Right. It was like FPS, and then all of a sudden, gotcha. It's a card game. I don't know what the heck happened, but all of a sudden it just switched over to the full screen of the of the of the showcase. I'm like, wait, did OBS just crash on me? <laughs> you guys are all here, right? You're good. You can hear yeah, me. You see yeah, me? Yeah, okay, we're good. Here, we're here. You're good. All right. Yeah, I don't know about this card game business. Yeah, yeah, it's like two card, like two game styles, and I don't know. And it's not like it's like a mini game. It's actually a core mechanic. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I'm just going to point it out that Camille and I are frozen in uh, your oh. preview window. There we go. Thank oh, you. Are we yeah. back? We're back. We're yep. back. We're back. It's a weird thing that I have to like tab over to Discord for a sec. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Caboose is still smiling. Yeah, Caboose is always <laughs> still smiling. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm I'm no, I'm the happiest camper right now. Oh, here we go. oh Saints Row, okay. Saints Row. Saints Row that we revealed last year at Gamescom, and today we're happy to announce the launch of the Boss Factory demo across PC and console, which lets you design and set up your character. And since it's Saints Row, you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. I'm yawning already. Oh my gosh. Where are the premiere? Guys. When we're when talking about the death loop effect, I almost think that applies to Saints Row. Yeah. I'm like I've, I've seen enough. I'm I'm down. We are so good at this. Which fool wanna challenge me? Got a pack on your back with a stack. Can't relax, cause you know there's no guarantee. Did it say download now? Yeah. Yes. For this creator thing. For the career yeah. bot. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, this is perfect. Dinner and a show, baby. This is kind of cool. Yeah. A lot of customization yeah, nice. here. Yeah, yeah, in fact, you can design your own boss. Over. That'd be pretty. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you can full on. Vamp it up. Yeah. The customization does look really good. The copyright music. Nothing. Nah, oh so yeah, that's so much. <laughs> like disclaimer hey if you're streaming it just yeah you know, yeah you we're not responsible for what happens because it's like automated and blah 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 it's like you guys yeah but it's like you're also producing this so yeah. why are you like <laughs> can't you do something about it <laughs> okay so epic games uh, more info about uh saints row tomorrow Next, we've got an exclusive first oh look God. at extended gameplay so of Warhammer 40k. I know, it's like already like half an hour left, less than half an hour left. What's happening here? Dark Tide it's promises like intense four-player co-op action. What's happening here? Terrifying <laughs> yeah. He didn't say it, so it's like, <laughs> they're going to do it. They're going to just. <laughs> on Steam and exclusively gonna, on console. They're going to do it, but on it's Xbox. only going to be two seconds. <laughs> I honestly, at this point, it might be. <laughs> You think you, you think Henry Cavill will play this? <laughs> oh yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. In between, you know, not being Superman. Yeah. Or or Geralt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. Since when did Warhammer become FPS? A while ago. Oh really? 
Yeah. They had that one. Vermintide thing. Vermintide, that was it. Vermintide, yes. You're right, yeah. yes. That was the first time where I was like, do I play this? Do I, do I go into this <laughs> rabbit hole? <laughs> They always had like a a gears vibe to me, mm. but without like the cover mechanics. Oh, James Berg says apparently Space Marine was also first person. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I just yeah, I just always thought of like Warhammer as like a like an RTS or uh, like an XCOM kind of style. Better now, September thirteenth. Okay. Xbox is Bloober team is known for psychological. Bloober team. Here we go. Today, they are ready to reveal their latest Your fears will return. Is this Silent Hill? The studio name being Bloober. Like, I can say that yep. all day. Bloober. 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 Sounds like stuff like a Muppet would say. World premiere. Bloober. Bloober. New layers of fear? I'm, I'm down for it. I like the first Is it layers one. of fear? Is that what this is? Guaranteed. It's, uh, Wasn't it's people saying Bloober? it was Silent Hill? I don't know. The paintings give off flares of fear vibes for me. I think oh. I think Jeff said. Oh, did he? Was. Oh, okay. It's, it's okay. We'll 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 let you know. It's a lie. This is a story of my fear, pain, and hatred of the horror nope. of my life. That's when I exit. And it is <laughs> no, little kids ruby chair. Yeah. No, no, no. Spooky wheelchair. No. Nah. Psychedelic now horror. I see it. No. All this misery. Like I mean, uh, the the medium was kind of was pretty like, more psychedelic, uh, and I actually enjoyed. Uh, the medium. I thought the story was actually pretty good. And this, this sort of the gameplay switch, like, between the two different worlds at the same time. Mm -hmm. Made Unreal Engine 5. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's a beautiful game. I'm going to throw it yeah. like, Spooky, but beautiful game. They definitely do. Yeah, I think the Bloober is very good at, like, psychological horror. Yeah. Even, um, Blair Witch was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was trapped in this house. Layers of fears. Ooh. Switching up the name. Is that what it is? Layers of fears. <laughs> okay. Oh, so it's not Silent Hill then. All right, but still an old franchise, a good horror franchise. It looks good though. I don't know if my heart can handle it. No. This October, oh, here, we here we go. Here we go. Batman is dead, and it's up to the let's Batman go. Family let's finally <laughs> let's get into it. Robin to protect Gotham to give us an exclusive new look. Oh, let's head to Montreal so to hear from executive producer well, yeah, Laura Marty. World premiere. Hello and warm welcome from WB Games Montreal. I'm Woo. I'm the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today, we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved nights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Okay, here we go. And then this city became my home. Its people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe. Huh. 
So is this pre-Bloodhaven or what? Looks dope, but it's very CG trailer. I got this, Bruce. Do you, do you really? Do you, do you really? Who wants to place bets that one of them is going to put on the bat suit? I think they could. I mean, I'm Dick Grayson. Just Nightwing game now they, they said it's going to be a reveal, oh, so I was expecting like Neil something new. Yeah. Uh, Still cool. Oh, hey. With us, Neil. It's been it's a Neil. He's here. Full day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans, and uh, <laughs> oh, that's right, that they're live because they instantly knew it was leaked. <laughs> Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people. Oh, uh, all things at Naughty I mean, Dog. But first of all, it is a you know it's a big month actually for Last of Us fans that means because uh, Last of Us one and two both like launched mm. in June and it's that nearing its two year anniversary on. for Last of Us uh, Part Two, which is is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us one, two years for Last of Us Part Two. He's nice. Still Neil Druckmann's very nice. Still sending us letters and art. Imagine and if we get the, like a trailer for the so show. Much to them. Oh, um, and it's it's just been kind of that'd amazing. be dope. Last of Us Part Two early this year passed a pretty big milestone and sold over ten million units. And that ten million units success. for Last of Us Two. Um, wow. So grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects more than we've ever had at the same time. Multiple projects. Okay, very interesting. Multiple so, projects. Uh, what can no. last, of us, last of Us fans expect in the future from you? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode. Oh. Evolved due to the team's ambition, they really wanted to do something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog. And we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. Oh. We've been working on it for the oh. past two years. Ambition has grown. And we're not quite ready to fully Stand unveil alone? it, but we're ready to lift the current a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay. Wow. What can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, but what, what I can tell you there Whoa. is that Whoa. this game is big. Okay. Wow. It's as big as any of our single player games that we've done, and in some ways bigger. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very Wait, unique so to this game. so there's a story to it. Um, it's got a brand new yeah. character that takes place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. Like a city might be somewhat familiar to some people. San Francisco. So, so I've already yeah, figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Agarwal, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, Joe Padnatti, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this mm. game come next year. Interesting. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. That That's like okay. very Okay. Well, very exciting. I don't think it's. In, I think it said more info next year, not oh, releasing oh, next year. Okay. Oh, Naughty Dog storytelling. More of the game next year. Yeah. It's twenty twenty four. I say twenty four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um, that's not all. We also have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day. It feels like up in Calgary, they're filming the, the show. Last Here we go. Show mm -hmm. for HBO. Can we get a right? trailer? Something. Yes. Come on, please. The past year, um, please. You know, teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's. They have incredible. to. The stuff I'm getting right? back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help I'm but feel emotional because not only is it so good. It's either a clip or a trail. Like, uh, come on, yeah. just show us something. If they have like the HBO logos here um, and everything. And, and the PlayStation logo uh, could be. I, I, just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody that's up there. Uh, and they're actually their last day of filming is tomorrow. <gasps> so oh, last day of filming. Something. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there if right now. Kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so he directed a few episodes, I think, or at least one episode. Yeah. Yeah. At least one. Got to direct one of the episodes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Nice. Uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration. Joel and Ellie. Like just between Naughty Dog and HBO. Beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. They haven't got up to yet. Hold on. I think we have an oh, sorry. From the episode, actually. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. First look. Let's take. Oh damn! Yeah, this goodness. is a certain museum that yep. players might know from <gasps> the game. Um, 
And I really have to talk about Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey and not only directing them, but seeing them do all the other episodes. Damn. Thrown themselves at I can't wait to see those two together. On oh, stage. same. Watching the nuance that they bring to these characters. Like seeing them on screen, plus like with the score. Like, I just want to hear that score. Like that score is just kind of what it so it screams Last of Us to me. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. game. Um, like just the two characters and like, just give me that Gustavo score. And uh, I will say this will be the most authentic video game adaptation yet. Well, I mean that first wow. out, just bold kind of words, feels Neil. Like video game, everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel <sighs> sort of super legitimate. You said, and that's awesome to see uh, Joel and Ellie from from the front side now for the first time. Um, so we'll see more of that at next year. That's coming as well, right, Sirius? Uh, you'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. All say right now. Very soon. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. Okay. No, come on. Nothing. And I hear you actually have a couple actors. PlayStation's gonna reveal it. Show. Yeah. Um, gonna join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. <gasps> They ha they're, they're gonna have I actors, but they're not gonna show a trailer. Come on! Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. oh it's from the game. Oh, oh, that was okay. Come on. Oh, hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm a little confused though. I, I thought maybe Pedro. Hey, look, it's friends. From, uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're oh. such fans of like what? The talent and the hel like helping us create Joel and Ellie. That's what um, we felt like it was so important that they become huh. part of the show. And it wasn't. It's it has to be more than just like kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles that we're keeping under wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that's so cool. Know, that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your show. That's pretty that awesome. So yeah. Yeah. Like, that's so dope. On the internet, there's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's because it kept a complete secret that you so you were up there and you, you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've Except had- Except for keep, today. Yeah. Except for today. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let, not let people know that, because we're so proud of it and the work that we did, we worked hard. The, the crew, I have to say, um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their fan and their love for the It's pretty the awesome game, that uh, Troy Baker and was one of the greatest. It was like Ashley uh, Johnson was are like in the show. Yeah. Right? And more than just like a cameo. Uh, the yeah. The attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are... Man. I, they're so perfect, and it it we we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's it's like, it's like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so excited to be a part of it, and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is going to be so good. It's it's so I love the story. I love no, just I, being I'm, a part of I'm so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are gonna be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's gonna sort of bob and weave and, and you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing? New characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Yes well, to all so of that. To Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision, uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC, and instead of talking about it, let's PS5 look at and it. PC? Right, yeah. look at yep. the Last of Us Part one. Dang, I feel so bad for them that they like that it got leaked. Like this could have been a much like an amazing surprise reveal. Yeah, when I saw it early, I was like, oh. <sighs> and Jeff must be like so disappointed too. Especially because it was Sony that leaked it too. Yeah. No. Yeah. Very unlike them. Yeah. Yeah. This but does look amazing, though. That's the thing. Yes. It's like, no matter what, it coming out, like, yeah. it being leaked two hours earlier or whatever, yeah. this looks incredible. Yeah. Real. To the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? I can't wait to play this game. There. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to do, like, part one, part two, back to back on Ooh. PlayStation 5. Yeah, that'd I be cool. To. I'd be down for that. Yeah, doing that, too. 
So I've been waiting to do like a platinum run for Last of Us Part Two. Oh, specifically I, for this kill. to do yeah. like a like a full back to front. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I need, yeah, I definitely need to do a new replay of this because it's and and two because man, these games are so good. And just to even have like a small little part of this franchise that I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm so jazzed. And they're okay, so they're officially calling the last was part one. Right. <laughs> Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade, guys. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, we uh, haven't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's because you did these I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah, you didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, actually, we we came up with a process where you could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more. Oh, cool! I mean, oh, wow! wow. Side 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 damn! Side side changed that you went and you Holy redid the crud. models, rebuilt everything. Everything was re uh, rebuilt. Jeez! Uh, same art so director, good. we art directed the whole thing from the ground. Like it is up. so much like um, in line with part the, the two. The great thing yeah. About yeah. Like that. That, oh, again, um, damn! Also, did original performance. Our, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to That's what so you did good. on set than we could have achieved before. Um, wow. That's one of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is, uh, is, is redone. Um, just uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all the stuff you're getting on the PS5. Again, we wanted to give, knowing because of the show. Accessibility? The, Can you talk about accessibility? For PS5 and PC, yeah. we wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Amazing. And now you guys get to replay. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I, I actually played it again just to refresh my memory the before show. working on the show. Uh -huh. um, I was a, just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, yeah, part one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with this. I mean, yeah, I can't wait to go back because it was oh, such I can't a, wait. I, you guys did such an amazing job on that original game. And it's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion. You got less than 10 minutes left. What it used to be. So I imagine that, you know, the, think of The Last of Us 2 combat. I mean, but kind of that, that would be a good time for a well, uh, trailer. It's the whole, like, trailer. The system, the new AI system. Yeah. And state on, of like, play tease. Two, we applied mm -hmm. I mean, they are talking. Talking about PlayStation's. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and I guess it makes sense that, why uh, they didn't hear a lot more about and see a lot more about over the coming flow weeks leading up of to the, the show, the even yeah. September it's second ruined. on PS5. All right. Well, shortly thereafter on PC. We will look forward to it. You, Neil, you've talked a lot about <laughs> games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? You still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Or game reveal uh, by Kojima. Kojima, yeah. Kojima game. Maybe if someone in PlayStation wants to leak it, then we can talk about it now. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> uh, we'll save but it. you do have a new project. Do have a new project. Okay. Uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, he promised. Well, we'll he promised. <laughs> right, so, all right. Troy, Ashley, Beal, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest. And I am so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank thanks, you. Jeff. Awesome. All right. Well, that is going to do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and PlayStation oh, for that it. very special uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise and where things are going. Um, very, very exciting. Yeah, it that. sounds right. like it's Summer just done, guys. Wow. The next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream oh, well. Day of the Dead with I Am 8 Bit and Double Fine, including an exclusive new look at the planet of Lana. And then the Devolver Digital Showcase. Tomorrow, we've got Netflix Geek Week, which I'll be co hosting, and the Tribeca Game Showcase streaming, along with the Epic Game Store Showcase. And then finally, Sunday, it's the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. You can stream them all at summergamefest.com. We're going to be in the Toronto one. In August, when we are back live in Cologne, Germany, for Gamescom opening night live on August 23rd. And then the Game Awards will return in December live from the Microsoft Theater in Los cool. Angeles. Yeah, and finally, I'm excited yeah. to see that Summer Game <laughs> Fest will return in June in 2023 person. as a digital and in-person event wow. to bring the gaming community together. Thanks for being a part of Summer All Game Fest. All right, that was Fest. not bad. And remember, there Dueling are E3s. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. So that was. Happy oh, that's the day of the devs now stuff. Yeah, They've already I started. Was, I thought that was gonna be a one more thing. <laughs> no, it's it switched right into day of the devs. So. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. So, two hours-ish of yeah. Summer Game Fest goodness. What are your general thoughts, folks? We're frozen again, Steve. Oh, frozen? Oh, thanks. There we go. There we go. showcase a lot of it could have been spent in a gmail yeah I yeah, yeah. Um, but i'm really happy that there was that redemption at the end for what we were waiting for you know batman uh, or gotham knight sorry and as well as the last of us stuff i'm really mm -hmm. interested i think the surprise is for me the last of us multiplayer being a full-fledged game with full it sounded like a full story. Like when Neil Druckmann says, and it will have a story, you know there's going to be a story. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm cu I'm really curious about that. Yeah, I'm like, it's like, yeah, I think kind of overall, I was very like excited for like, uh, for what we got. Um, I, like I, I don't think that there was any like it, basically yeah like because I had tempered expectations of what was going to be in this thing I think it was it was great it was fine got some updates on some stuff but nothing really kind of like fully blew me away I think if The Last of Us didn't leak I probably would have been even more blown away by it um sure. and I think that would probably have been, been my sort of takeaway from the show because I don't know I mean I, like I don't know about your thoughts about a caboose but I thought that kind of like that Gotham Knights like wasn't really that trailer wasn't really needed like if it, um, I, it should have been the robin gameplay that we were we yeah, thought it was going to be I, i'm honestly kind of uh i find it very weird that out of all the things they could have shown in terms of like a new gotham knights reveal that it was gameplay for like the one of two characters that just got a gameplay show right yeah yeah I'm surprised um so that was a little confusing to me but like that being said like it was a cool trailer <laughs> sure like, like the gameplay looked pretty sweet. I mean, it certainly looked a lot better than what we saw in that gameplay showcase. That, I mean, definitely considering that the trailer's more like hyper stylized and everything and wasn't just raw gameplay. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I I mean I'm I'm just I'm very excited for that game, so I can't wait to see what it's just gonna be like overall. And I guess as well too, they kind of uh they kind of said in the beginning, um, the 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 lady who was talking at WB Montreal that basically this is the beginning of the marketing going into like going into overdrive they're right. gonna have trailers for all four of the characters like that's just dedicated to the characters so yeah i'm looking forward to that at least yeah for me i was like kind of jumping off what camille said this this is just another classic Jeff Keighley production that went on a little too long. I understand, you know, he loves to have those bombastic uh, treatments, especially, you know, with Summer Game Fest, then um, the Game Awards as well, and then Gamescom too. Uh, but uh, some of this stuff just kind of fell short for me. It's just the pacing of it all, I think, sure. is, is really where Jeff Keighley kind of struggles in terms of, like, the production is just keeping that momentum going. Because, like, that first, I would say, 20 minutes, I was – I thought was excellent excellently paced with you know you got street fighter and i know we'll go over like all the specific games but there was just like a bubble there where i was completely in and then by the time we got to the first ad break i was like okay mm -hmm. this uh this length is kind of waning down on me and then as it kind of continued we did pick up steam by the end and to your point uh steve that if last of us didn't leak and we got that that segment there i think that would have been a perfect end cap to this whole thing but yeah the reality is that yeah it did leak so yeah we got to know a little bit like a, a little bit more about the uh, the show and future projects that they're working on that's cool but that's not that's not something I, I it just wasn't enough for me to be like okay this was worth the now two hours you know yeah. i i think they could have been condensed into a a much better production but an hour long i think the best yes ha an hour long show you know highlight some of the like top indie games that you want to highlight yeah. but then the remainder of that could be in like a post summer game fest show where it's like just sitting down talking to devs where it's not necessarily the big production yeah um, but the other titles that you know really weren't really are, are too niche and not really hitting you know expectations i think of what everyone was tuning in for you know a lot of the conversation was like this is kind of this is the key three this is that replacement yeah. and although i wasn't expecting like huge 
huge like out of you know left field reveals that we wouldn't have expected it um even though i was kind of hoping for something god of war or teased to some sort of announcement coming up soon um i did expect it to kind of hit harder like the pacing to just be bam 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 mm -hmm. this is why summer game fest is like so needed and like why we are standing out from e3 um and yeah it just it just wasn't there however i will say i think you know the yes the last of us obviously blew us away but there were other great um announcements off the top so you had like the street fighter um six and then the alien game. yeah that was true um, dark descent yeah like yeah, that was a really just cool the gameplay yeah yeah I mean, like, like, yeah, okay. Not everyone's excited for an RTS, but it's like uh, that's why I say if you yeah. want a good game that like lives up to the to the hype of that what that trailer was, go try out Fire Team Elite. Like yeah, that one. I say wait for Callisto. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's like I, I like well Callisto too. Yeah, but I think like if you want an alien, a game set in the Aliens franchise, Fire Team Elite is is honestly a an absolute blast. I played it with uh, two of my friends, and uh, it's great. And even if you don't play with friends, what the cool thing is is at least the it's a team because it's a fire team. If you don't have an actual player playing with you, it will fill in with a uh, uh, with, with a synth. Uh, as sort of like an AI kind of player that comes along with you. So honestly, go try out Fireteam Elite and, and I hope they do per make more content for it because it's honestly like a blast. And that is what I was hoping that it was going to be like another like the kind of like a DLC or another chapter in that. But I mean, yeah, other than the RTS stuff. So I yeah, I think for me, what really kind of like what really kind of t like the telling of this whole of, of the whole Summer Game Fest event um, I didn't start looking at the clock until we were about close to an hour in. And when I'm starting to look at the clock and I realize, oh shoot, we got another hour left. I was starting to think, oh, okay. There's probably like, unless there's some really like amazing, like banger type games that are gonna be announced. I don't know what he's gonna fill the rest of the hour with. I mean, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the at least, Granted, yes, the pandemic affected everybody. I mean, that's why like 2022 doesn't seem to be a huge year for games um, as far as like even the AAA is concerned. That's where I think the indies are kind of really have their time to shine. But the pandemic is still affecting everyone. I think 2023 is probably going to be a much more bigger year for, for games. But I think so. I think that with programming something like this from a Jeff's uh, standpoint, he did the best he could with what he what, with what he had and given his sort of like cachet in the industry he was able to at least probably like to, to pull some onto some things that uh, make it exclusive like the last of us reveal and stuff like that and and the and the warzone like uh, warzone 2 or not warzone 2 modern warfare 2 uh, reveal uh i think he was able to pull in that kind of stuff but i i feel like that this year probably was a very like he had to bring in whatever he could and i think if they had if they cut this off at like an hour an hour 15 yeah. even maybe if you want to push it a solid 90 minutes i think it would have been okay but i think because it's stra drawn out and it, it there was a lot of games that were honestly completely kind of forgettable i just was like i wasn't super like super impressed with it yeah. I agree, and I think in terms of just the uh, the overall marketing of the show, like he had those marquee titles that he was teasing, and everything. Sure. He was like, okay, you know, we're gonna have Call of Duty, we're gonna have Midnight Suns, Gotham Knights, all this stuff, and everything. And if like I wrote down the list of the, all the games and everything, and there's a distinct cutoff where it's like, okay, and now we're hitting the threshold where there's an hour here, and we gotta pad it out with yeah the the mid tier titles and everything because like, yeah. once they hit like the back to back with like Midnight Suns and then Cuphead. It's a, it's a laundry list of just games that we either, one, have seen way too many times, like Saints Row, TMNT, as much as I love it, don't get me wrong, we've seen that game plenty of times. Sure. And it was just kind of just a countdown to get Boring. to exactly what I said, was that we're going to get Gotham Knights followed by The Last of Us as the, the one last thing, and lo and behold, that's kind of what we got. Um, but yeah, I, I do agree, Steve, that maybe if they did 90 minutes, cut out some of the... I don't want to say fluff, but there were there were some games that you know oh, just could have been condensed of, and a lot of fluff. It yeah, was yeah. And it, like to Steve Steve S's point, right? Like it's like you know it's a tough year for these devs. Yeah. You know, there is not much to show, so I just don't understand the rationale to make it a two-hour-long show. Um, 
because it just doesn't it does not make sense for the year and we've seen that as well just a lot of devs uh or a lot of these showcases just quick in and out in and out because yeah. they don't want to draw it out you want fans to continue talking about it and i would have kept talking about you know the modern warfare well i will the modern warfare 2 gameplay that we saw because it looked so good mm -hmm. but also guile stuff like because it was spaced out for so long yes i'm excited about that stuff but i, I need to go back and watch those trailers again to remember what i saw yeah yeah uh, because it's a lot of a lot of time to fill so i i hope that he does learn this um my question is though because at the end with the last of us the the teaser i'm just curious where do you think we will see the the show because Neil Druckmann Ooh. was like, you'll see it very soon, but I'm like, they're just going to release the trailer? Like, I feel like yeah. it has to be a part of either a PlayStation production because it's very gamer-oriented. Or, well, maybe it's not, right? And that's because the story is just so good, I think it could definitely stand on its own. But, like, do we think this is going to be alongside, like, a another state of play? Or I don't know if HBO Max has something coming up soon where they'll announce it. Like, who's going to announce this? I don't I think, think it's a standalone. Yeah, I think this is they're just going to like we're just going to wake up one day and it's just going to it's just going to be released. I don't think that uh, HBO would sort of consider a gaming event to announce stuff like the the showcase that they or the little kind of segment that they had with with Naughty Dog. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, show a little a, a photo um like okay, talk a little bit about the sh the shooting of the show, uh, like the reveal that Troy and Ashley are in the show uh as, as actual characters somehow. Uh, we don't know what they about. I think that was enough that yeah it's disappointing we didn't see a trailer and it would have been awesome like that would have like combined because Jeff Keighley loves movies as well like he is a big movie buff he lo uh, he like I remember like there was several times he yeah, well, yeah, he did get black. I mean, yeah, whatever. But it's still like, you, 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 like he could have had the cachet to do it. I think it just probably HBO was probably like, nope, nope. This we're, we're we have our own marketing cycle for this, and they, I would say, I would say it's probably just going to be we're going to wake up one day and the trailer's going to be out. Um, I don't I think agree. it's going to tie to anything. A, a a showcase like this is a great place to show The Last of Us remake. A, a HBO's goal is not to sell gamers on The Last of Us; it's to sell everyone else that doesn't yeah. care about Last of Us. And yeah. hiding it in a one, thanks, Christy, one, for everything for the hour, raid. In a two-hour showcase, that's not the place HBO wants to see their trailer. Uh, and to and a separate thing where it's like, okay, here's God of War, here's this and that. Like, that's another place I just don't think HBO wants to hide that kind of trailer. Sure, this is a thing that just pops up on YouTube, pops up on Twitter, and then gets everyone talking about that trailer alone, not yeah. everything uh, around it. You know, I, I think after the game is revealed, then maybe you might see like, oh, here's an exclusive clip sure. during like a yeah. play or a PlayStation right. showcase. Yeah. But in terms of like when the trailer is going to drop, like I think they're just going to like the way that Hollywood works is so different. Yeah. The way that they, they do things in like the games industry. So it's more mm -hmm. like I agree. It's probably just going to be like we'll, we'll wake up one Monday morning and there's the last of us. Trailer yeah. Because uh, Uncharted that the tra like that the trailer that dropped for that, there was no fanfare. There was no event for anything yeah, like no. that. So that's my guess is that it's just like it's it's out of sort of PlayStation or uh, any video game kind of related events hands. Um, yeah. And I mean, I, like, who knows? Like, it could be like it could be sometime within the next week or so. We could like if he says very soon, I'd say it could be within the key three time frame of Summer Game Fest. But uh, yeah, I think uh, my my thinking about it now, kind of like just now we're kind of past it a bit and, and, get, and having some time to think about it a lot. I think the first 30, 40 minutes started really strong. Like we had like g like really great games, at, like game after game of reveals. I was like, I was very excited for. I think once we hit that first ad block, it was K. Okay. And then it just kind of like, kind of tapered off a little bit from there. Had some like increase, like I think some had some had some interest with Midnight Suns when that came in and then a little bit with Gotham Knights as well. And then the last of us at the end, but it was like, it was very hit or miss for that last like hour and uh and and a lot of uh, like you could probably read off the list that you have there steve and i could probably like i can't remember and half of the probably the games that they announced today <laughs> so yeah, that, and i think that's kind of the the sad thing is that you almost do yourself a disservice by holding a showcase this long because audience retention is so 
fickle, right? Sure. I mean, that's why Nintendo Directs and State of Plays work so well, because you're in and out 30 minutes, boom, boom, boom. You get something for everybody. Everyone walks away with at least two or three titles that they really latch onto. Here, I mean, like, the ones I latch onto, I've known about for years. Callisto Protocol, Midnight Suns, Call of Duty, Last of Us. Like, those are big names. And once yeah. you start getting into, like, the minutia of this, like, yeah, okay, Layers of Fears, that was cool. Cuphead, mm -hmm. also very cool. But then you, yeah, replaced. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, okay, that, like, that one was at least a little bit of, like, hey, we understand it's hard to be able to kind of admit, put this all together. Yeah. Like shout out to the team that's making it. They really tried right. to be able to make something. Out. So that was, kind of, I feel like that in a way was kind of like separate from it. But all the games that had like big reveals, I couldn't tell you half of them. I couldn't tell, like, I, like it just, it felt like that there were games oh, that are going to pop up. What was that iconic game that, that was coming Honestly, back? what Flashback the hell? The I Witch game? The exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like, I think obviously for, for, you know, Jeff and like, how he came up in the industry this is a huge accolade for him um yeah. mm -hmm. I just wish, like it, it, i don't know if it might have had to do with budget too trying to make deals because we saw lots of ads yeah um, which i mean yeah pay the bills we gotta make this happen and uh, to be fair game awards is the same way they have an they have ad blocks as well yep. exactly exactly um but it, it's just like I mean, it could be done a little bit more organically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, or at least, at least transparent and being like, hey, we need yeah. this to be able to pay the bills. Just like, we'll, we've got some cool stuff in these, like in these ads, just we'll, we'll be kind of like, kind yeah, of like, setting up an ad break, but letting us know we're going to get an ad break. Yep. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, let's thank the people that helped me this happen. Yes. There you go. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, we'll be back in five minutes, and blah, blah, blah. Here's, here's a, you know, a moment from our sponsors and stuff like that. Like, just something to be like, okay, we're, we're splitting this up right now to have just, you know, The Rock come in and, and talk about Black Adam and Fall Guy or sure. know, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but the way they kind of like that was the one thing that I was like, Jeff, really? Like he promoted that The Rock was going to be in the show. You think he's going to be like a guest? We've had we've seen him do it before. We've seen him like have like interviews. We like in previous events, whether it's in virtual or in person, he showed that he did it throughout the entire uh, like two hours today. But for whatever reason, it was basically just The Rock in his in his iron gym or whatever that he calls it, and just talking about Zoa and Black Adam. Like it was. Literally literally like like i we joked about it but i'm like he like what did jeff just book a cameo with him like is that how he did it why promote that there's gonna be the, he's gonna be a part of it and there's nothing of substance to be able to do it especially with the fact that he they released the trailer yesterday <laughs> yeah and i i feel like even if the trailer was released yesterday again it could have just been done in a better way i feel like this is one of the things that just kind of well, when did he announce The Rock? I feel like it. this is very... It's oh, this is years ago. Right? Like, he was going to be a black... Or no, sorry, but they're not saying he's going to be The Rock. I think it was, like, yeah. this week. I think it was this week he said he was yeah, going so to be a part like, of it. So I feel like it's just one of those things that, like, you know, maybe Warner Brothers was like, yo, can you do something for yeah. us? And he's like, yeah, sure. You know, you don't want to break those ties, and I, I get it. But I feel like it could have been a little bit more fun, like playing a game with The Rock or, like, something that's just a little bit a special moment or a memeable moment that like fans watching would well it's definitely memeable but uh that fans would <laughs> not, in that, want. Not, in the, not in the way that jeff would want not in the way that we would want but like that fans would get something a little bit extra it was just like a little bit cringe and like just didn't fit in uh it was it was weird it was yeah weird. it was it was a weird like wait is it, okay the, it's the rock is this an ad oh this is an ad oh this is a this is an ad for the trip Oh, wait, like it just felt like you kind of went down the rabbit hole of like It was just a full on The Rock ad like, Yeah, was, yeah was Him talking about Zoa and him talking about Black Adam and the fact that he was the foundation in Fortnite It was like, where, like besides the Fortnite mention, what does this have to do with video games? Yeah and it, They could have faked it where they have The Rock like record answers to questions like Jeff could have asked him to make it actually feel a little bit more organic to fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, like Iron Paradise, yeah. like Jim, like. <laughs> Come on. Get a Black Adam sign behind him at least. Yeah. Like, like, the movie. like, like he so knew if, he, if it was gonna be pre-recorded, and he and like it apparently like just like the last week he was he was he was like uh, or a week but within like past two weeks like he like he had just finished his last shots of Black Adam. Like show us something like 
well, you're in the suit. Like, show us in the right. suit. Like, there's an actual yeah. suit that he wore. Like, show us in the suit. And, like, that would have been something of substance. But, I don't know, it just felt like, so this could, like, as much as, like, people say, like, this could have been an email, like, The Rock, this could have been an Instagram post. Like, yeah. this literally could yeah. have been one of those Instagram videos he posted. It could have been promotion to tune in to Summer Game Fest sure. on, you know, Jeff's socials i don't know but yeah. it's just weird i think the hardest part of this is or you know the i feel bad for my bladder <laughs> i drank so much water <laughs> and like oh so much tea for two hours sitting down like i'm just dying but I i'm feel good that. yeah yeah we'll, we'll make it through but uh yeah shout out to all the bladders that are withstanding <laughs> yeah out there so we'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep this short so we can be able to like uh relieve our our our, our bladder <laughs> situations but uh what are your what are your like three final thoughts of of this was it like is there enough like if you had to grade this on a on a well what did we have like a friend scale like uh what was friend scale yes the uh, yeah. what, what, what how would you rate like what would you rate this uh summer game fest um I, i'd give it like a two and a half friends out of five you know one one friend who's teetering on the edge of canceling you know? Oh, oh, that's the half friend. It's like you're not sure whether he's a friend, like he or she or they are a, fr are a friend or not. The one friend who always flakes on you. That's ah, like, okay. So that's the half. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know what? I, I'll go a three. I, I like the idea of the friend that always flakes on you. I, I say, like, the friend that always tells you they'll follow through, like, they'll be there for you. But then, yeah, oh, you show up and they're not there. And I don't you're know like, what's worse. Right. But, ooh, but, ooh. Like, there's definitely potential here i just hope that you know this is a huge learning uh, opportunity for jeff and then he, he could come back uh, even stronger with summer game fest i'll Actually, say this much because obviously like i was sitting here saying like where's gotham knights where's gotham knights like the yeah. whole the whole stream what ended up surprising me more was midnight suns like, yes was yes midnight suns was okay. awesome it was yeah awesome yeah yeah a lot of great stuff there i mean yeah, I think a lot of this is, is indicative of what Steve, you were saying, is that 2022 is one hell of a year for game development, and I think this is just a cause and effect of that. Jeff Keighley definitely worked with what he had. Mm -hmm. Studios are working what they have. If they don't have anything to show, I mean, they can't they can't show up to these big events, unfortunately. Um, so we just kind of have to be a little more patient with them. That being said, though, setting up expectations, I know Keighley did as much as he can, but, you know, game industry or, you know gamer culture just says no we're gonna hype this up as much as we want to but um yeah overall i think that you know they had us in the first half and then kind of just waned on and um i i will kind of man it, it's tough for a grade i mean i'm kind of with caboose like two and a half friends out of five just because that last half just did not do it for me i i even with gotham knights as much as i i i like what I've been seeing of the game and the same with the last of us it just wasn't enough for me to be like that was worth two hours and I think that's really what it comes down to is just you know respecting the audience's time uh when you're putting together a big uh, production like this you have to respect the uh the audience's time and it's like yeah yeah cut out a lot of this and had a much better production in my opinion yeah I think I'm uh I'm, I'm gonna give be a little bit like like a little bit generous with the fact that yeah we're it's it's pandemic it's there, a lot of games have been delayed I'm sure that there's probably a lot of uh, studios that wanted to be able to have like these big announcements for what they're working on um but just couldn't for like for around this time of year especially with the fact that basically like if, if E3 was canceled uh, like uh, I could see them being like it, taking a huge sigh of relief that they don't like they don't have to force themselves to be able to make something for this uh sort of mm -hmm. e3 time so i'm gonna say i'm gonna give it at least three out of uh, five friends but that third friend was with that friend that you invited to and they showed up two and a half hours late uh <laughs> <laughs> which to the point where it's like the party was kind of starting to die down and it's like really yeah. really like you're just showing up when the bills get like uh, now here so yeah that's when that i've been paying the bill i completely <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah i think that that's kind of that's kind of like it's just it's very much a, i hate to use the, the word in the way even the inflection of it it was a very meh kind of showcase yeah. not anything Jeff's fault not really even his production team's fault but it was just it's he showed what he could show and that's kind of where i i, I sort of see it so um but with that being said we're are we are still looking forward to 
Xbox Bethesda Showcase this coming Sunday yeah. uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern, I think is the time. Is, is that right? Like 10 a.m. Pacific? Is that the time zone math that I'm doing right? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so the way we still have yet to kind of figure out how we're going to yeah. do this just a few fr uh, friends chatting about E3 show um, because all four of us are actually going to be at the Toronto Fan Fest event. Uh, so we'll actually be able to be in person and we'll be able to watch the showcase live in person and with actually a huge crowd because there's going to be a, a crowd of people there. So we're going to try to potentially maybe either stream at least our reactions or at least our post show thoughts of it. We probably won't be able to stream the re like us reacting right. to the show. Um, if we're, uh, Basically, it could be either we're going to record literally right at the uh, the event or shortly afterwards um when we kind of get back to our own uh, respective homes so we're yeah. still working that out but stay tuned uh we will have something uh either on my youtube channel youtube.com slash snowball or here on twitch twitch.tv slash blind gamer steve that i will say i it's probably the th out of the three that we were planned on planned on uh, uh, uh sh like reacting to or doing a show about that's the one i'm i'm most excited for uh what about you guys great Agreed. Yeah, I yeah. agree. They are going to come really strong with some great announcements, and I think it will be blown. I think that's going to be the real E3 experience. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, I agree. So, it's especially going to be awesome that we get to do it in person. Or like yes. Get to be there in person. Yes. It's, gonna, it's really going to feel like E3 here in Toronto. Yes. E3 at home. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially because, like, not only is it like media is, uh, and all that, but fans as well, the Xbox right. community coming out uh, to kind of just gather in one spot. That's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, Sam, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, but also as well, it's like in a way, it's like actually, I'm it's co as cool as to be able to know all the announcements and stuff like that too. I'm just I just wanted to be able to see my my Toronto gaming friends for for a little while. Like this is what I'm excited for. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna try our best to be able to either do something from there or afterwards we'll uh, we'll but we'll have our thoughts soon uh, after uh, shortly after the Xbox Showcase Bethesda event. So. That being said, thank you all very much for tuning in and watching, and uh, we'll see you all very soon. And uh, if we want to be able to follow you all online, Camille, where can we be able to find you uh, and, and all the good stuff that you do? All the things are at This Is Camco, um, and you can find all the things there. There you go. Cool. Steve? Hey, you can find me on Twitter, at SVigbari. And Caboose, the uh, the the smile, always smiling, uh, Caboose. <laughs> you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK, YouTube.com forward slash Caboose, which I'm going to be uploading a lot of my reactions to these trailers too, uh, and Twitch.tv slash Caboose as well. When there's when there's superhero game reveals, I'll definitely be live to watch it. Perfect. And I'm uh, at Steve Saylor on Twitter, but twitch.tv slash blindgamersteve or youtube.com slash snowball. You'll be able to find all of the stuff that I do there. Thank you all so very much and have yourself a great rest of your summer game fest slash key three, whatever. I don't know. Okay. I'm let's waving. <laughs> I'm waving. I believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, what? no, I believe you. I believe it. All right. <laughs>